Ocean. I'm so tired, dudes. I don't know why, but I got, like, nothing in the tank right now. Hopefully that'll, that'll change as we get into this a little bit more tonight, but it's time for some game clearing. This is a game that I played a ton as a kid, but never was able to beat. I used to borrow it off a friend all the time. And, uh, I think it's a bit of a hidden gem, honestly, on the system, because I really enjoyed playing it as a kid. But it is a little... Weird, as you would expect with Adam's family, but uh, yeah, it's, it's Zelda. We're about to play Zelda, basically. You're always tired? Yeah, I mean, yeah, but like this is like advanced tired. Tier 2 tired, like... Fucking exhausted, and I don't know why. This is the top-down one, yeah. I've shown this off on stream before. I think I've shown it off a couple times. But uh, we never got around to actually finishing it. So I figured let's do it for game clearing. I don't know how long it takes to beat because I don't think we're gonna be able to finish it tonight. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a two streamer. Yeah. Did you say tier two tired or tier two sub to Proton John? I said like level two tired. Tier two of tired. What are our options? Cow Tender. Good options. Glad we went to the menu. <laughs> this isn't your average everyday tiredness. This is advanced tiredness. Fury, good luck. Here's hoping it works out great. I was planning to take a nap yesterday, and that nap suddenly turned into being asleep for 12 hours. Jesus. Yeah, I got nine hours of sleep last night, and then still had to go down for another hour nap later in the day. I've, like, I got nothing in the tank. I don't know why I'm so tired today, specifically. This does count as a Halloween game, right? Yeah. Which is why we're playing in February. <laughs> That's what we do. We play the spooky games in February, and then we play all the lovely games in, in October. What do you unlock when you max out your tired set? Narcolepsy? <laughs> Pretty sure at this point. ADHD be like that someday? someday? Source me who has ADHD and is tired at 11 a.m. Oof. Sometimes it does hit hard, doesn't it? They watch the Super Bowl? No, I just saw the end results. I saw the clips, basically. There's basic tired, advanced tired, and masterwork tired. Yeah, I'm not at masterwork tired yet. I think I'm only at advanced tired. How long beats? It's about seven and a half hours. Damn, there's a lot more to this game than I thought. No wonder I didn't beat it as a kid. Here's who we're playing as Uncle Fester. I can't leave just yet. I haven't found baby pubert. We're in our little pajamas. We got our electricity hands. That's our attack. And of course we have our menu with thing doing all the selections for us. We have keys, cookies, weapons, potions, and miscellaneous. I have the fart button too. What's the talk button? Oh, it's X. <laughs> Are you my brother? Oh, Fester, any luck finding dear Pubert? I do miss him. The place is too cheerful without his young yet strangely corrupt eyes staring from his crib. Nope, not yet. Never mind. How's things, Fester? Miserable. Glad to see you're enjoying yourself. Good talk, Morticia. Thanks. So yeah, uh, we're basically playing a Zelda-like Adam's Family game. So that's the thing. It's it's a substantial length game, and I think it'll take us two streams to get through it. People are saying if it takes seven hours, then it's definitely going to. 
Uh, but before we dig into it, I owe Popsky the wisdom of Duke Nukem. I need a key card. It's very wise, Duke. Thank you so much. I feel like we learned a lot today. Man, I don't think I can talk to these things. Or zap them. Gatekeeper's home. Visitors unwelcome. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go visit. No one gets in here. I mean, I can't. I've told you once, laddie. Go away. Right, that's it. I've had it up to here with you. Boss fight, right off the bat. All right, so we have to be careful, because unfortunately, one of the things I remember being annoying about this game is that your attack range is dictated by your health. So, if we get hit, uh, and we go down, we'll go down to green, which will be two lengths of this meter. So it'll be like two thirds. And if we go down to red at one hit, we'll only have one third of it. So we gotta be very careful with our range. I should forget what that opens. I think it's the gate outside? It is. Okay, it is the gate outside. That song sounded a lot like Bad Guy by Billiam Eyelash. Eh, not quite. I could, I could hear some of that. All right. Morticia, you got anything new to say? No, it looks like it's gonna be the same stuff. Oh, there's a way to skip. Yeah, there, there is. Grandma! Oh, Fester, you young slug, you look rough today. <laughs> you say the nicest things, Granny. Take these cookies, dearie, I made them myself. <laughs> black beetle cookies made from choice cut slime soaked black corpse beetles. Double cholesterol, too, for that pasty, flabby look your granny loves. They will keep you in bad shape, whatever happens. Now go and see your brother Gomez. He has a little present for you. All right, so now we have two cookies in our inventory. Those will be our heels. <laughs> Granny, will you make this? Granny, will you do that? Bother, always bother with you, young Festa. Go away and let me be for a while. Okay, bye, I just wanted to say hi. I don't know if you watched it, but it depends on the 90s reboot of Adam's Family, like new Adam's Family. I liked it. And I like the fact that they actually had like the original Gomez uh, come back to be like their their grandfather. I thought that was a super nice touch. Since the Adams family are like undead, does that mean dying is basically them resurrecting? They're not undead. They're still human. They're just, you know, weird. <laughs> Did I watch the 90s Adams family cartoon? Yeah, but I barely remember it. They're just advanced goth. Yeah, that's what I thought. I just, oh, Gomez, you just chilling in this wooded area over here? All right. I thought you were on a whole separate screen. Fester, old man, how positively awful to see you. Take this journal. You may need it to find your way around here. I now have a journal. 
Staunch work, Fester. Keep it up. Uh, what does that do? Oh, it's actually the map map. Okay. So last time we played this, I forgot to get this item. So here's our actual map. Was this game save base or password base? Password, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to write down a password whenever we like die, or I think we have to talk to Go. I think it's Gomez we have to talk to later on. What's with the Adams Family games? Make you plays Uncle Fester. I think this is the only one that does. Cause the other two on the SNES make you play is either Gomez or Pugsley. The NES one makes you play as Gomez. The Genesis ones, I think, are the same as the SNES ones, so this that means Gomez, Pugsley, and Fester. Look at your left. Ah, oh, and I guess Fester's quest. What? I keep forgetting that. I never, because it's the only one not called Adam's well, Family, I never friends, think of it. I look Even though it says it on the title screen, again. the actual game box doesn't say fe like Adam's Family at all. Gold men, do you know what you're doing? <laughs> Tunic, thank you for the gift sub bomb. I don't. Oh, it's got little hearts. What? Hmm. Jelinski must be around here somewhere. Hopefully she has pubert or at least enough bits of him for Granny to put him back together. Granny, you're probably gonna yell at me again. Yes, you are. It's empty. Wasn't there one on the original Game Boy 2? I... There is an Adam's Family game on the Game Boy, but I think that is just a port of the NES game. Morticia, since I've talked to your husband, do you have anything to say to me yet? No, you're just, you're just gone. All right, you left. Okay. Oh, no, there you are. Nope, same thing. I know at some point I talk to Granny and I get an extra, like, skull, so. Will this be a no help run? For now, uh, for now, no help. I don't, I usually don't catch your streams on Monday. Ah, that would be why. Thank you, Tunic. I'm gonna try to go with no help for now, but, like, eventually I'm gonna get fucking lost. Because that is the nature of this game. I actually, like, like, I completely forgot there was a map, for starters. Not that the map's gonna be ultra helpful, but it will be helpful to a point. Because I don't think the map actually marks off, like, where to go. It just gives you an idea of, like, hey, there's exits in these areas. I'd rather do a lot of searching around, because they hide... I remember them, some stuff being pretty hidden when I played this as a kid. Hey, Mac, listen up. If you want to strike a blow for floor liberation, stop Mrs. Jelinski controlling the plants. Bring me the black rose that grants her power. Take this key. It should get you into the caverns where the rose is kept. I now have a skull key. Hang on, I've been sent a picture of, I assume, Bagel. <laughs> it's definitely a picture of Bagel. There he is. He's wrapped up in blankets. He's having a great time. What a cat. If you absolutely start to falter during the stream, don't hesitate to bail, okay? I would rather you take care of yourself than try to power through. And I get it, but like, I'm, I'll be fine. I'm just, like I said, I'm just, I'm just tired. It, it happens. That happens. Itchy Bond, how you doing, bud? It's me, Minimum Energy Man. 
You have to spite John into going to bed. I, I have to spite myself to go to bed, basically. God. Navigating through the trees and bushes is a little annoying at times. That's about it. Do I have to equip the key? I do. What? Oh, so Y is now permanently just my map button. I don't have to have the book equipped. Oh, that's way better. Hell yeah. So Y is map, A is use item, X is talk, and B is murder things. What time do you usually sleep on stream night and not stream night? About the same. I usually go to bed about 2, 3 a.m. 3 a.m. I think I... Last night I went to bed at like 2. Like, I went to bed a lot earlier than usual. Well, I say a lot. Like, maybe an hour. That's murder the one-eyed day. Oops. Uh-oh. Right, the other problem is your attack power goes down when you get hit. So, blue was killing in one hit, this is killing in two. One, two, three, the clue is V. There we go, shortcut unlocked. Isn't being tired an official trademark yours? It's not one I'm a fan of. I would like to be a well-rested individual for once in my life. That would be kind of nice. I just don't know what it's going to take to get to that point in my life. Yo, if any of you want to drop, like, some health, it would be greatly appreciated. Oh god, uh, which one's the correct one? No! 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 <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> yes! Oh, that should be health. Oh yeah, the other thing I need to keep in mind with this is that Fester's attack is slightly below him and slightly to his left. Or right, depending on which way you're facing, because this is his right hand. So, uh, that can get you in trouble sometimes, because there's no absolute middle attack unless you're looking left or right. That's something I'm going to have to keep in mind, because that will get me hit. That seems stupid. You're correct. It is. <laughs> but that's what they did, so we got to deal with it. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> oh, boy. Here, we got them both. Oh, and they dropped the skulls, too. Perfect. Dungeon 1, surprisingly huge. More health can't go this way. I believe in you, John. Thank you, Fury. That makes one of us. I see you back there.
I believe in Uncle Fester. There you go. That's that's the more believable one, honestly, right now. Well, if I could light you on fire, I would, but I don't know how. Why does it look like Sans? Maybe Sans was just Uncle Fester the entire time. You don't know. Could be that. When's the last time you saw the two in the same room at the same time? Alright, do I want to take this teleporter? It might send me to that room up there. It did. I do wish it marked off the rooms you've been in, so that would be a little bit easier, but I mean, SNES game, not always the case. Trapped! Uh-huh. Convincing. Did I miss Dreamwatch? No, we've only been live for like 20 minutes. Why did you say that now? You got me thinking all the skeletal characters, main characters are basically the Adams family. Maybe I'm the one asking the real questions. Maybe I'm the, the Matt Pat game theory. It was me all along. Number one Adams family fan knew the truth the whole time. Does is Sans Fester? Yes. Did I miss the end of the stream? Yes, you did. I'm sorry. I had to restart the entire stream because you weren't there for the ending. I hope not. I'd rather you didn't retire. What would you do if I retired? I assume go watch someone else. <laughs> I don't know why. That, that's not really all that existential a question, all things considered, I feel. Yeah, watch Norline. Exactly. That's I knew it. I knew exactly. It was someone's going to just be like, yeah, just, I'll just listen to another Canadian. I don't know anyone else who does big retro streams outside of the Hank Hill streamer. Uh, I mean, there's a bunch of us, but fair enough. These streams comfort me more than others, I'll be honest. Oh, that's sweet, Silverman. Thank you. Are you my brother, Rex Racer? <laughs> if you retire, we gotta relocate all these enormous lingerie somewhere else. Oh, God. So what you're saying is I should keep streaming so no one else has to deal with that bullshit? That's what that sounds like to me. I'm the one who must bear. <laughs> I'm the one with the weight to bear. God damn it. My blessing and my curse. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? Also, no streamer has over 12,000 games and three sets of boobs. I don't have three sets of boobs. <laughs> John is the bearer of the curse. You know what? That, that feels real sometimes. To be fair, not only is Northern Lion Canadian, he's the other egg stream. I didn't realize Northern Lion had an egg thing going over there, too. Your streams, while chaotic, have this air of kindness to it that I join. Oh, wow. Thank you. Appreciate the money. But who's live at this time of night? A fair amount, actually. Some of the streamers are rivals, John. I'm sorry. Eh. Wait, is John retiring? No, I'm not retiring. We were just talking about Matt Pat, and that's how that came from. No, I did not get the 2.9 million, so no, I'm not retiring. Bearing something already. <laughs> Fuck you, Mooch. If you retire, we immortalize your basement as a video game repository. Uh... You're not coming to my house. I assume I'm still going to live in my house. Heavy the chest that holds the boobs. Yeah, there you go. That's my that's my motto. Slap that right on my old business card. Need to train an apprentice Sith. Why Sith style? Why that? If you didn't stream, John, who would take up the Rosa mantle? 
Is there really a mantle that needs to be taken up? John, which mod is which aspect of the curse? I am so not answering that question. Oh, Northern Lion's bald, so that's the, where the egg thing comes from? Uh, okay. John, after retiring another streamer. Curse of titties. It is your official Nintendo branded cross to bear. <laughs> Your streams help so much with my insomnia, and you have honestly helped me through some shit. So if you're retired, I'd miss your streams in this awesome community. You have made me feel accepted for who I am. Well, I appreciate that, Amy Lou. Thank you. We've established this last stream. You are this surrogate mother that reigns us in. So when you retire, John, we are unleashed upon the world. Jesus Christ. Okay, so what you're saying is I have no choice but to stay and keep streaming to keep some of y'all motherfuckers in check. Okay, I see how it is. I know another Canadian streamer who has an egg thing and his last name Wheeler. What, really? Really, Abby? I mean, you kind of do have three sets of boobs. Your man boobs, flat though they may be, your cosplay boobs, and your wife. I don't know. Uh, I'm flattered you think my man boobs are flat, but... But fair enough. That would be three sets. Genuinely, though, your streams are a nice, bright spot in a really shitty time right now, so thanks for that. Well, I'm glad to be... See, this is why y'all are like, John, you should go get some sleep. And then you're all like, yo, I, I, this stream helps me through, like, life and all the shitty things in the universe. I'm just like, well, you're doing a good job making me want to go to bed. I feel like I gotta stay up extra late now. <laughs> but who else would help make other people learn about their sexuality by looking at you dressed up as Rosa? Oh, my God. I only wore it a couple times on stream, guys. I think I think they'll be fine. There's plenty of other things on the internet to make them realize that. I'm not doing a video game suppository, AC fan. Have you ever won the lottery? What's the first thing you do? Uh, plan out how to retire. <laughs> Like, actually, like, make sure I have enough money in retirement to make sure I'm covered. And then it would be pay off the house, help our family with any issues. Um, probably take a big vacation with Reese. Um, finish the game collection and then see where we go from there. <laughs> to be fair, the deal was that you would bo get both yourself and your wife implants. You never said anything about retiring, so you still got to show us the goods afterwards. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I would get the mods futons if I won the lottery. That, like, finally the joke would die. Did you hear about the tragedy of Darth Mamarius? Oh my god. This is why we can't do just talking streams so often because, my god, I'm trying to catch up on chat and it's just you all, all in fucking fire right now. The motto, Trojan, not my boobs. <laughs> John, you're the only consistent streamer I got at the moment and I really like this corner of the internet. It's helped me more times than I can count. Well, like, like Socket, I'm not planning on going anywhere. I just want to... I like, I, you know, like... I've been doing this for, what, 17 years now? Like, not streaming, but just online content in general, and like, fucking, I, it, it's exhausting, all the shit that happens online sometimes, man. I get why, like, guys like Matt Pat and stuff are, like, retiring. Shit's exhausting. As cool and as glamorous as this whole job is, like, I completely get why so many of them are like, yeah, dude, I can't do this anymore. Like, there's definitely been days where I'm just like, oh, man, I just, I don't want to do this. I don't want to exist. And, I, and like, I get it. This, this job does things to you that no other job can do or should do. So that's, that's a thing. That's a thing. Because, like, we have to be plugged in online all the time. It's so exhausting. It's why so many of us just kind of go get hobbies that aren't that. Oh my god, I'm trying to 
I'm trying to catch up on chat here. I'm so far behind. For me, this community and your content has given me a lot of comfort, especially with my anxiety or uh, and other mental issues I have. And like again, that's you guys are so kind. I'm glad that we've been able to help as much as we have by just being idiots. That's all we're doing is we're just idiots. I personally believe you're the kind of person who can't truly re retire, kind of like PewDiePie. Uh, do you enjoy our company way too much and everything that we do for you, giving you good laughs and whatnot? But the job is something that you can't do forever because of how stressful and tiring it is, so you'll most likely just reduce your frequency and stuff rather than leaving the world of content creation altogether. Probably, honestly. Like, I'm always like, yeah, I should have a backup plan, or like, this is what my backup plan will be, but it's also at the same time, it's just like, it won't feel the same. You <laughs> Miyazaki can't retire out of this. You just ain't no That's just because he's a fucking workaholic. <laughs> Have I considered video game preservation? There's already so many other people ahead of me on that. They play Magic the Gathering, but there is another Canadian Wheeler streamer who has an egg thing on the streams. That's wild. Holy shit. John, you have to go to bed. You have a late for college dream to have. Uh, fuck you, AC fan. I had that yesterday. It's in for Dreamwatch today. Fuck you. Don't forget you're here forever. Fuck off. <laughs> He's just a workaholic. Oh, I see you've met Kettle, Mr. Pot. Fuck, fuck you, man. My own, everyone's fucking calling me out today. What the hell? God damn it. Everyone. Everyone's savage tonight. What the fuck? Again, it's nice to have a transposite community to unwind in. I'm, like, I'm, it's funny. I never even planned for that to become a thing, but it absolutely did become a thing. So I'm glad that, like, our trans community and, like, our entire LGBT community feels so comfortable here. I'll say this, John, count me amongst the group that met their current significant other through your community, so I can't say enough about what these streams and community mean to me. Oh, Rio, that means a lot. Thank you. Listen, Pharmacy 14 is down for maintenance. We need our Savage fix somehow. Jesus. If you ever won the lottery and retired, it would only take six months before you came back. It'd probably be faster than that if we're being real. Is it true you were your high school's valedictorian? Yeah, I was the male valedictorian. We did male and female valedictorian at our high school, so. I think she had a slightly better percentage average, or like, grade average than me by like 0.2 or something like that. So they made the difference and then we got to make a speech. But the funny thing about the speech was I wanted to make jokes in it and she did not. So I actually had to like slide some jokes in there because like we would go back and forth doing the speech. So I just had to be all the one to crack all the little silly comments about people, and then she would be the more serious one. So, so I guess I finally got my sense of humor my last year of high school. Finally developed. Late bloomer, as they say. Congratulations. Tonight you face Twitch chat. Savage, with multiple debuffs already applied at solo duty. Good luck. I hate this. I hate this. I started watching during like Brutal Mario or the He's an Evil Genius ROM hack. Good times, I remember. I watched all your content back in uh, before that too. Ah, uh, high school. So many of you watched me from freaking back in high school. It's just like I said, I've been doing this for so long. It is entirely possible. Like next year, it's extremely possible that I could there could be someone that was born and starts watching my content and is done high school. That is. Wild. There are so few people doing content still that can say that. 
We know you're a late bloomer, John. You only got your boobs five years ago. Man. <laughs> God damn. God damn it. I was 13 when I started watching. Now I'm 28 next week. I have three kids. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I started watching. I mean, I started watching you when I was like 15 or 16. I'm 32 now and have three kids. Damn. Damn. I feel bad that I'm like not even playing the game at the moment, but man, Chad, Chad's on fire right now, so. Wait, I saw one of your videos in elementary school, but got scared of you, but returned in college and stayed. I'm assuming it's the swearing. It's almost always the swearing. Raukow is one of the few that I can think of who can say that as well, regarding how long making content online. Yeah, no, Raukow's still going. God damn. I respect Raukow for that. But the thing was for me too is I switched from like pure let's play stuff to pu basically purely streaming. Cause streaming just feels more up my alley. So it felt more like my calling than than editing videos and everything did. I love doing some content like that still, and that's why I still want to do LP content, but at the same time. Oh fucking hell. Uh sometimes you you just wanna chat and play a video game, you know? You're improv more than scripted. Yeah, exactly. It's just, I, I'm way better at off the cuff. And like, a bunch of my content from like, YouTube stuff isn't scripted either. But the problem is, um, the problem is, and this is the thing I always bumped into the issue with, with focusing more on streaming than I did on focusing on my actual like, LPs. Is I felt like I kind of set myself up for a certain type of video. I feel like I can't just do off-the-cuff blind stuff, like, say, Reese does. Or we even do on T or G. I can't do that nearly as solo unless it's a stream. Because I can't... If I do it Let's Play-wise, it feels like it's too different from what I usually do, and people would get annoyed by it. Like, I feel like it offers something different, which is kind of why I kept it the streaming. Oh, we are in maybe not a great spot right now. Okay, we gotta eat a cookie. Right, I can't move when I'm eating the cookie. I gotta be careful. You never know until you try? I mean, that's true too. We could just do that. But I gotta find something I actually wanna do that with. Like, I got lucky that a lot of the Let's Plays I did when I came back to it a couple years ago were all stuff I kinda knew or just knew well enough that I could improv and just play through no problem. To be fair, if you just did Mario Maker 2 videos, I'd eat that up. I thought about it. I really genuinely did. I also did think about doing some ROM hacks again, now that ROM hacks have gotten so much better. But I feel like people, if the first reaction a bunch of people online would have, if I suddenly did a ROM hack video out of fucking nowhere, would be, why does he feel like he needs to do this again? Why did he come back? Like, people would be like, what, is he in, like, financial trouble or something? Like, it, it would have too much of, like, a, he swore this off. Why is he back to it? it? Like, it wouldn't be like, oh, he just wanted to do it for shits and giggles. It would be something else. You ever burn out with editing? Oh, dude, I... Yeah, I I'm... Blah, blah. Hang on a second. Oh, that was a stairwell. I now have the greenhouse key. Perfect. This is exactly what I needed. Uh, yeah, no. Dude, I, I like what you can do in editing. But I don't think I can do it as much as I used to. Like, that Super Metroid was the most editing I had done in a while. And, like, it was nice to do. But at the same time, I'm like, oh, God, I'm planning out so much extra footage in, in the background of, like, okay, I have to strat strategically, like, plan to put this here. So my commentary has to keep this in mind to do this. I have to do this, this. It just got mentally taxing and I being the genius that I am don't think I wrote down notes I actually haven't gone back to check same with Jet Set I have some notes but not enough so I don't know what I actually did here I'm gonna open up the Super Metroid folder oh look at that notes.txt John you brilliant brilliant man you actually wrote notes for yourself
Episode 3 notes. This is the episode I never released. Wall jumping with a charge at start of episode. Power bomb combos at start of episode. Midair shine sparks at start of episode. Shine sparking went out of HP at start of episode. Moat skip. Ocean fly. Talk about. Fantoon, 2500 HP. Weak to supers. Bot wound, 3000 HP. Dragon, 6000 HP. Buzzsaw man pants is called shack tool. That's my notes for ep the episode I never actually recorded. Not sure if you saw, but apparently there's an amazing mirror randomizer. Why does that need a randomizer? Jesus Christ, that game was hectic enough as it is. To be fair, many creators swear off doing something to come back to it. People's minds change. The audience just likes to point out that sometimes has a gotcha. Eh. I found you on YouTube with Bad Place Mario in 2018. In 2014, I found your Twitch channel. And it took me a long time to realize that you were the same guy. I mean, my voice has changed a lot. And that's without all the fucking around with my voice and everything. And my voice has changed a lot over the years, so. Also, my microphone's gotten better, so. People are going to call you out regardless of whatever content you push, so fuck them, just do a ROM hacking one. That's kind of the mentality I've had for the most part. It's why I just kind of keep the streaming and just having fun. I'm just like, fuck it. I can't please everyone. I have to please the most amount of people. And just be like, alright, cool, sorry, maybe you'll like the next thing with the others. That's one thing I learned with TRG, was like, we always had that issue of like, not everyone liked the single player playthroughs. Not everyone liked the multiplayer playthroughs that weren't Mario Party. Most people didn't like the non-Nintendo content. So like, you have to learn, like, you, you learn, you're kind of pigeonholed with certain things, no matter what, you're never going to please the entirety of your audience. But there was definitely a long time where I tried to please everyone. And Jesus Christ, was that exhausting. Little Big Planet was still stellar. I do wish we had gotten around to doing Little Big Planet 3. I really do wish we had, but like everyone, everyone told us it wasn't worth it. And not even counting like the, the audience not being super into it. Like everyone was just like, yeah, Little Big Planet 3 is just not that good of a game. Oh my God, I did have a Jet Set Notes file. Holy shit. Oh my God, I was organized? What the hell? But I have no notes for the next episode. <laughs> Of course I didn't. Of course I fucking didn't. <laughs> what chapter were we on in Jet Set? Were we in chapter 6 or chapter 7? Because I have notes I'm not sure what these mean. It says chapter 6, Dogenzaga Hill 102, Shibuya Terminal 71, Chuo Street 84, Rokaku Dai Heights 69, 99th Street 85, Message at 89, Message at 137, 141 should be 140. Message at 180, 190 is end. I don't know what that means. That sounds like referring to specifically the graffiti souls. Do you have any notes files for Superman? You think I'm that organized? I'm surprised I had this. Sounds like the graffiti soul numbers. It must be. From my own experience, being a people pleaser is awful. Not only can you not uh, please everyone, but it's merely taxing, mentally taxing among other things, like making you prioritize other, others over yourself. There's nothing wrong with putting yourself a, a bit first a bit, IMO. So as long as you're letting people know you still care, but still need time to pull yourself back together, if that makes sense. I think that's just what fucking has got me right now, is I'm so fucking exhausted after everything. Like, the last few months have been so mentally taxing. I just need... I need things to calm down. That's <laughs> what I need to calm down. Which reminds me, I should clarify to you guys, for those who don't know, because this was only decided somewhat recently, uh, we are not doing PAX East. Tim and I were going to go, we were going to do Throne Controllers and everything, we've decided against it, so. Uh, our next con appearance will likely be something in May. Maybe Momocon, maybe Odafest, maybe both, I don't know. I like the 100% orange juice videos. You were a small minority that did, Brabbit. I'll give you that much. 
The problem was with that, we didn't want to do that for as long as we did. It was meant to be filler. It was never meant to be the main LP. The only thing that happened there was, uh, to put it bluntly, we all kind of went through shit at the same time. So, uh, we all unfortunately were like, yeah, we can't mentally do this right now. We can't mentally do this right now. Like, hey, are you able to do this? No. Are you able to do this? No. Okay, well then, what's something we can do? OJ's pretty easy. It just, it just kept being that over and over and over again. So that was never meant to be as long running as it was. That was meant to be like side content stuff at best. And, but you know, best laid plans, etc, etc, etc. Where is my Superman folder? There we go. Superman has its own separate folder from all this. Stage 10 bio, stage 10 intro. Do I have a notes file for this? I have a new text document, which has... Oh, that's the old something awful posts. Um... Yeah, no, I don't have any notes for, for Sage 11 on Superman, but Sage 11 is also pretty straightforward. I have a file that says user submitted glitches. But at the same time, the thing with Superman was like... The, the next episode is literally gonna be the PS1 version. So that's why I haven't done it. Because I had to literally sit down and record a seven hour video game. <laughs> and I'm just like... No. No, I don't want to do that right now. I'd like to... I want to do other shit. So it might just be your Twitch audience, but I feel like your audience is the kind that appreciates you, the content creator, enjoying yourself more than the specific game being good or bad or meh, so as long as you have fun, I feel like things will work out. I mean, yeah, you guys do care for my well-being a fair amount, I would I would say. I think I think that's a pretty safe statement to make at this point. But, like, at the same time, like, we've been doing this internet shit for so long at this point. We know how it works. You do have to kind of push yourself harder than maybe you want to. And, like, I've got the unfortunate, like, negative aspect of, like, I've got ADHD. And I still haven't quite fully got that under control. So, like, I'll get distracted with other ideas or other things. They're like, oh, this is a cool idea. I should do this. Not realizing, like, how much freaking work it is. Although I could say that about, like, I've a million freaking ideas I've had over the years. How many times I had an idea, I'm like, oh, this would be cool to do, and then try to do it and realize, like, oh, this fucking sucks. <laughs> this is a lot more work. This requires, like, five people. Shit. Well, I'm gonna try to do it myself anyways. Laughs and throne controllers. Uh... Sound like you need more U's. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. But also... We got enough me's. <laughs> Wait. I would need the alts to be actually be real at this point. And even then, I don't think I could handle that. I don't think we should have that. <laughs> but we only have one physical you? I mean, that is also true. But also, I think the universe can only hand handle one physical me anyways. last thing we need is a different me or me being different so damn it damn it come on someone drop a skull yes I wouldn't say no to some of the alts being real. Imagine Hydrogen. Well, at that point, if I had to manage Hydrogen, I don't think I gotta worry about streaming anymore. You mean you wouldn't? You don't want a real life Rosa John? Do you think the internet would fucking be sane about a real life Rosa John? The internet would not even be remotely sane about her being real if she was real. You need a secretary alt that keeps tabs on all the other alts and keeping such. keeping each itinerary in sync. At that point, then, like. Then yeah, then I need an extra alt. Then I need one extra person to handle everyone else at that point. John, that assumes the internet's sane now. Okay, I mean like fair, fair on that. It's 
John, the internet's already insane about Rosa. I mean, that's also true. Grandma, do you give me the... Yeah, there we go. Eye of Newt, Toe of Cat, Spleen of Frog, and Heart of Rat. Oh, hello, dearie. Just brewing something together for dinner. What can I do you for? Some cookies, perhaps? Here you go, Fester. I'm glad to see you are working really hard on your obesity. Soon you'll be as fat as Uncle Fritz. If you, chan if you chance across anything you think I may find interesting, be sure to bring it to your old dear old granny. Okay, so no, you're not the one that gives me the, uh... The health extension. Who gives me the health extension? Is it Morticia? Gomez probably isn't here anymore. What if Pon Pon takes the manager role? I do not trust Pon Pon to be the manager. I can only imagine the shenanigans she would get up to if she had control. John, at this rate, your dreams, in given your dreams, I imagine Cherry's gonna hijack your body and you will wake up with episodes one to 10 of Mario Wonder recorded. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna ask this genuine question because actually you unintentionally hit, uh, hit on something I've been thinking about for a while. And no, it's not Cherry taking over my body, but nice try. Um, would it be weird if I just fucking did like some Mario games or shit just for fun? Just like single player shit like that? Not just, not for stream, I mean like just like YouTube stuff. Like genuinely the other day I was like, you know what would be fun to actually record? New Super Mario Brothers for the DS. I haven't played that game in for fucking ever. But the thing is, I don't know if, this is the, the thing I was kind of mulling about earlier when I was talking about um, when I was talking about just having, like, pigeonholed myself with doing Let's Plays where I feel like there's, like, some expectation of, like, I've set myself up to do completionist stuff, or I've set myself up to be, like, I have to show off secrets and stuff like that. I just want to do a fucking casual-ass playthrough of, like, a new Super Mario Bros. game. <laughs> And I don't know if it's a good idea or not. Like, I feel like you guys are going to say yes because that's just what the streams are. That's ba That would be the equivalent of the stream, but it's just for a longer game. What's the risk? I guess there is really no risk. That's the thing. But you got to understand... I, well, I'm sure you do understand. I get in my own fucking head about a lot of things a lot of the time. Give me the rose, ugly. Hey, thanks, doofus. That was one of your f more terminal mistakes be seeing you around. He was an eyeball the entire time. Whoa, strange guy. I would love to hear you happy and having a blast. Well, when you word it that way, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I can see the reason most of your YouTube subscribers are used to everything Let's Plays. I still think you should, though. I think it's the something awful mentality. It, it was funny, because I, I think what kickstarted all this talk in my head was uh, doing the Name That Tune over at Ty Tuesday's stream on the weekend. Because during that, like, they literally started showing me my own fucking old, like, Let's Plays and playing back old clips like that. And I was thinking about, like, man, something awful's weird-ass rule sets kind of, like, was both a blessing and a curse. It was a blessing because we stood out so fucking much because no one else was doing stuff like that at the time. It was also a curse, but now I've like, like... I've just got like this mentality of like, I need to do things a very specific way, otherwise I can never do them. Does that make sense? Oh, Rambo, what did I what did I need to do for the actual health extension? Did I have to show the rose to Morticia? Cuz I swear you could get it after you were done the dungeon. 
You're a perfectionist workaholic with ADHD. It makes sense that it's tough to feel happy with projects. Oh, that sentence just, mm, that cut me, that cut me deep. You had to get the Rose of Morticia. Shit. All right, well, there we go. I knew something was up. John, is the gift wall the same as Saturday? I think the top middle gift has some advice for making the LPs nowadays. Well, I, it is. What is what is the top middle one? Oh, there are no rules. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fair. You should do casual LPs as Rosa. Oh my god. Can I? Did I ever tell you guys the one thing I wanted to do with Rosa and an LP? I don't think I ever did. Um, so you remember my Donkey Kong Country Let's Play I did two years ago now? She was in DKC for a bit. I wanted to do a spiritual successor to that. And it was gonna be Super Mario World. It was gonna be vanilla Super Mario World. But the whole catch of it was that it was gonna be... And, and I'm telling you this because I've, I've basically scrapped this plan at this point. Uh, oops. Uh, it was gonna be a multiverse Let's Play again. But it was gonna be a case that the problem was that different Johns were getting killed off in the process of the playthrough because different weird glitchy things kept happening to them and the whole game was corrupted. So it would be a vanilla Super Mario World playthrough, but every now and then things would just start being slightly different in the playthrough. Like things would start corrupting, tiles would be in the wrong places. It would just be implied that like something was wrong with this version of the game that we were all playing. And uh, eventually it would be like, there would be one John that would survive it all, and like they would be cornered by Rosa. Rosa would be helping them through things, and there were like little breaks for like narrative, like blocks and stuff like that to kind of get caught up on what was happening, like finding out about like oh these other U's have died because they they made mistakes you haven't yet, stuff like that. It was gonna be this whole meta playthrough, but I think it got a little too uh, self-indulgent. I guess is the word word I'll use here. Um, I love the idea of it, and it. but the problem is it would become so much work to do because, again, it would be a multi-game playthrough thing where I would have to do different takes of the same parts of the game over and over. I would also have to have someone actually ROM hack Super Mario World to actually make all the shit I wanted to do happen in it. And, of course, I would also have to script out the dialogue between myself and Rosa. So, like, the idea was really fucking cool, but the amount of work involved with it was way off the fucking scale. So th this is the problem I always have, is like, I'm like, oh, cool, this idea sounds neat. What if I do this? What if I do this? What if I do this? Oh, this sounds amazing. Oh my god, it requires that much work? <laughs> Shit. Maybe someday that'll still happen. Who the fuck knows? I had an idea of, like, what I was going to sync up with it. Like, it would be like, okay, like, this is going on in my life. That'd be a great time to, like, do it with that. But, like, you know, the cards never always uh, lay the same way. So it would have just been too much. It would have been too much to handle all at once. Uh, I think the greenhouse is actually to the left. Feature bloat, the bane of all content creators. Oh my god, dude. This is the thing with Superman, too. It's my own fucking fault with Superman. We should have been done that LP years ago. And it's just because I kept being like, oh, what if I add this onto it? What if I do this? What if I do this? Like, that LP was fine as it is, but then I just kept doing more and more things to it. And, like, while that kind of got me the reputation of having, like, a decent quality with what I do, it just became too much. My suggestion, my suggestion is just do a casual LP with your Rosa VTuber model and see what happens. I don't think, like, I don't think that'd be worth putting on, like, the channel, though. That's the thing, like... Alright, you can you at least move out of the way so I can... No, yeah, there's no way I'm getting past that.
You made Crisis on Infinite Kongs and you think you're just decent? Yes! Yes, I do! <laughs> I need you to understand this. Like, I, I don't think of myself as that good of a content creator. At least when it comes to video stuff. Like, streaming is whatever. Like, streaming is just, you're getting genuine me. And I can be myself. Despite what some others may think at times. Uh, so, like, that's easy to do. But, like, actual, like, pre-prepped content creation, like, YouTube stuff, I always thought I was kind of, like, eh at best. Or, like, neutral at best. And this is the thing. This is also a layover from Something Awful, too. I got a lot of shit on Something Awful back then for being just kind of a mid-LP'er. con, like mid -er, So I just figured, like, oh, I guess they're right. And ironically, uh, that might have worked in my favor. Because I'm still around. <laughs> Turns out, uh, not going too hard on things kind of balances out you as a person, in a way. And if I if I had actually pushed as hard as I should have on content creation when like during the Mario Rom hack era, I probably would have been in a much better place financially and like numbers wise, just like just to put it that way. But at the same time, I probably would be burnt the fuck out and already retired. You should just break the ice and just post a super simple video, then use that to test your limits on how casual you can be in videos. I mean, at this point, maybe I should just do the, the new Super Mario Brothers idea. The funny thing is, I actually have two LPs recorded. Like, there are like they are ready to post the entirety of them. Well, okay, sorry. One of them is fully edited. Uh, the other is not. Yeah, that sounds like one of those, you want burnout? Because that's how you get burnout situations. Yeah, kind of is. Your stuff was good, don't doubt it. I mean, I know, I know. Your DK94 LP is probably the one LP I like the most out of all the ones I've seen. You know what the fucked up thing about that DK94 LP was? I had to replay the entire fucking game every time I wanted to record an episode. I think I even say that in the playthrough. Because the battery in the cart was dead, so every time I wanted to record something, I had to play through the entirety of the fucking game again. So I was really fucking good at the game during the playthrough. <laughs> but it was such a pain in the ass to record. Because I was doing, I think, two worlds every recording session, and there were ten worlds total. So I was literally playing through like, okay, here's two parts of the game, here's four parts, here's six parts, here's eight parts. Alright, now I can finish the entire playthrough. Oh, right, I need the green ass key. I'm like, I'm super not paying attention to the game today. I'm sorry, guys. This, this is more of a chatting stream at this point. Your Aria of Sorrow LP is my favorite, even the Yoshi's Island one. Those I rewatch at least once a year when I need to kill time. I'm... Oh, I have no map. I'm glad that people like the Aria of Sorrow LP, because that one, I felt like... Felt weird about that one. Yo, Baldi, it's you. Get me out of here. I'm freezing. Get me somewhere warm and I'll give you something. Go on, Tubby, you help me? Alright, then follow me. I'll find someplace warm. Nice one, fat boy. Now take just take me east of here to that tropical plant room. ADHD and tired, it's understandable. That's how I got into the Metroidvanias. I learned I love the genre. The funny thing with that playthrough was I felt like I was just not doing a good job showing it off. Because that was, um... I only did that because of the whole thing with Bloodstained. Like, basically, they were like, hey, we want you to do, like, a video on this. And I knew who Ego was, because I'm a big fucking fan of the games he made. So I was like, oh my god, I need to do something with this. What should I do? Like, I can't just do a video. I haven't been doing much. I think I have been doing Yoshi's Island maybe at that point. I'm like, I could do a playthrough of my favorite one, but I feel like if I do that, people will be like, why aren't you doing Superman? I need you to understand how much is also held back by me saying to myself, why don't I just work on Superman? But I can't mentally bring myself to work on Superman. I fucking can't, and it sucks. There's the... I don't want to call it a mental block. Oh, what do I even call it? Um, Emotional baggage, I guess? I don't know. It's weird, because, like... 
That playthrough encompasses how much of my life at this point? There's a lot of emotional baggage with that, and I feel like finishing that is gonna be heavy. Trauma. It's trauma? Yeah, it's probably trauma. Uh, it's gonna be so weird finishing that. I vibe so hard with that, though. The emotional baggage with the creative thing. Ugh. <sighs> Jimbo, I know, I know you, buddy. I know you've you've kind of had to go through a lot of shit like that too. So, like, I don't know what it is about the the creative mindset that just gets hung up on certain things. I think you're in the same situation with Superman that Steven was with Fallout. The, I can't understand. I love Steven. Steven's a great dude. I do not understand why he thought doing Starfield was going to be a good idea. I I love the guy, but like, how did you not learn from Fallout? Like. Yell at it. Here's the thing. If I go back to doing LPs, finish Superman, and then take on another similar in scope kind of playthrough where I'm like doing deep dives on shit and like interviewing devs and stuff, fucking yell at me at that point. Be like, you motherfucker, learn your goddamn lesson. It's not 100%. Oh, thank God. He actually did learn. Okay. Thank God. But I feel, I feel so bad for Steven, because they're literally doing Tears of the Kingdom, they're doing Starfield, and well now he's at least Moon shorter, but like, they've got so long games running right now. This is why, like, for, for game clearing, I always try to do shorter games, because I'm like, yo, I, like, an audience, there will be an audience that will always enjoy long games, but very much... Especially depending on how you've set yourself up, they can only take the long game for so long. I'm a, I'm a point at Xenoblade as the example, not the perfect example because I definitely was in a mood with Xenoblade, and I won't deny that. But um, but like, eventually, like if the longer you are on a game, stream count wise or like episode wise, the lower the numbers go down. You have to, as a content creator, try to find the sweet spot with stuff. You want to try to find stuff that is just the right amount of length that will keep people in invested in it and will have something for them to watch. But you also don't want them to be so long that they're just burnt out. What do you mean locked? Oh, hang on. Maybe this old key I found will do the job. You know what? Your thing with Superman kind of reminds me how I felt about Fire Emblem Three Houses because I started up back in around the end of 2019 because of numerous things. Uh, had to restart back in 2021 because I wasn't satisfied. Satisfied, and while I'm more satisfied, I'm kind of in a position where I want to continue. But I can't mentally make myself do it. Eventually, eventually, you just kind of lock yourself in it. Like, like I, I have a bunch of people in chat that are saying this just for reference sake. I mean, you can see the chat on screen, but you've probably noticed this. Salem's, I'm going to specifically read out. John, if Superman is such a trauma dump for you, then you don't have to finish it. Don't feel obligated to finish something that makes you feel emotionally unstable. No one will blame you if you decide to cancel it, and if they do, fuck them. This is the thing. Now, this is the thing, and this is a me problem. I will clarify, this is absolutely a me problem. If I don't finish Superman, the people that told me I was a failure, win. Why do I care about that? Good question. However, spite is what powers my heart. <laughs> so, uh, that's why I want to keep it and have it done. Because at that point, sure, it has taken, like what, 12, 13? I don't even remember how many fucking years it's taken at this point. Probably 15. Uh, but if it's done, that means I fucking did it. I hate giving up on shit. Absolutely fucking hate giving up on shit. I want you guys to understand if I'm in a situation where I've actually given up on something especially if it's something well established there is something there. <laughs> there is something that has pushed me to a level that nothing else has. I need you to understand this. I do not give up on things very easily. I might be very snarky, very sarcastic about it, but if I give up on something there's a reason. So, yeah. I don't... We noticed. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, so that's kind of that's kind of my point. It's like, for color sake, the first time episode was June 2010. Okay, so we're at 14. You'll be 14 years this year. So yeah, still a long fucking time. For reference's sake, there's 14 stages in the game. So I've literally, I've literally been posting less than one stage a year. One day, scientists will turn, find a way to turn spite into electricity, and you'll solve so many problems in the world. See, finally, a use for my stupidity. We've seen how heated you've gotten in games, i.e., Sundowner, but something that makes you walk, but if it's something that makes you walk away from the game, yeah, exactly. Like that's. Have I? Has there even been a game on stream I've just walked away from? Your sanity? Ah, it's touche. Yeah, that works. <laughs> God damn it. Crash? The Chester Cheetah game? I still want to fucking finish that. I still want to finish that. Ballers get a fuck off, Pop. <laughs> it's different from me just not liking it. I now have a bone spoon. I had in time. I wasn't trying to finish that. Is John's deadly sin pride? I don't think I'm a prideful person. I do, well... To a degree. But I don't think it's pride that's coming in here specifically. That's the problem. Spite is your pride? Alright, maybe that's a bit more on point. Pride is spite's cousin. I mean, I can, okay, I can see that. You were unfortunately close before your saved Bort. You bailed on at least one ROM hack. Does that count? Eh, probably not. Because there was no, like, requirement to be actually finishing any of those ROM hacks back in the day. It was just viewer expectations of, like, Oh, I wanted to play my game so much. Oh, why isn't he playing my game anymore? I, like, I wanted people to feel like I finished it. And unfortunately, that also got me in some levels of trouble, too, because I definitely pushed myself hard into doing things that I shouldn't have at the time. But shock and surprise, I would do something like that to myself. Ironically, though, that led to me figuring out that I like streaming way more. <laughs> so, hey, there's some perks. Squishy the Suicidal Pig is probably the prime example. I wouldn't even count that, man. That was just making people uncomfortable. There's a difference between, like... Doing, stopping something because I, like, I genuinely dislike it versus, like, it making people uncomfortable. Shit, I will stop doing things that I enjoy to, if it's starting to make people uncomfortable. That's why I fucking changed the Rosa Alert. I miss the old Rosa Alert. I love the new one, but, like, it's such a different energy. Like, like, it's like a shit like that. Like, there are some lines you do have to walk. You cannot always please yourself when you are pleasing other people. That is unfortunately just kind of how that works. Crowd control is horrible. Oh my god, crowd control. Man, I love crowd control, but my fucking patience hates crowd control. God, I still hate the time I played Mario 64 crowd control. I just sound like a piece of shit the entire time, like not having fun. So that's kind of why I stopped doing crowd control as much as I was. The old Rose Alert did not make you uncomfortable. That's nice that you say that, but it definitely did for a number of people. Come on, I can't feel my roots no more. I got frostbite and it's all your fault. I don't know how long I can hold out. Everything's going dark. Mother. Mother, is that you? I'm slipping away. I'm a goner. Any second now unless I can get to the warmth. Yes, Mother, I'll be with you soon. So dramatic for a plant. Jesus. John, have you talked to your therapist about self-sabotage? Yeah, no, a lot. <laughs> I have talked to her a lot about that. And now I have a pumpkin. Trust me, you're you're not hearing shit that I haven't had I haven't talked to a professional about, or my friends about, or even my wife about. Yeah, 
don't know. That's just that's just the way content creation goes sometimes, and some that's the way you, my brain works sometimes. It is what it is. As a viewer, crowd control sometimes I get annoying because I don't like the streamer getting mad. There have been times you seem generally mad, and I'm like, yeah, this isn't funny anymore. That's see, that's the thing. The Mario 64 one really really got under my skin because we could not make any more fucking game progress. We were stuck in, like, was it Bowser... The first Bowser stage for... It felt like an hour and a half. You ever think what it'd be like if you and Luca swap jokes? You become a horse and Luca becomes a magical girl? Why? I don't... I mean... I don't know if I could pull off horse... Luca could pull off Magical Girl, but I don't think she could pull off Horse. Or, sorry, I don't think I could pull off Horse, rather. I like how John's joke is Magical Girl now. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm Honorary Girl or whatever it is now at this point, so, like, I just have Girl a status attached to me at this point. Depends. Can you ride a horse? I have r rode a horse before, but, uh, I would not call myself a professional. I've basically only done, like, trail riding. Guided trail riding. As they say in Persona, you have the most manpower and the most girl power. Ah, I am balanced power. I am gender. You both have mother energy in a way? I mean, I would hope she has mother energy. I'm concerned that I have mother energy, but I blame my mom on that. <laughs> yeah, 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 warmth and it's all mine. Hey, thanks. Now I'm off, Larball. Quick, after that plant! John is den mo mom in Fortnite. Oh my god, I've had to revive some of you fuckers so much. But I mean, you guys have to revive me a fair amount too. I'm always the one who's just like, Storm's coming, sweetie, we gotta move, hurry up. <laughs> John, it's not mom energy, it's teacher energy. It, yeah, but my mom was a teacher, so I equate the two. Like, they are the same thing to me. This is the downside of having your mother be a teacher, is you you equate the two, so. So, like, mom, that's why mom's tone of, like, you need to be careful what you're saying right now because you really shouldn't be saying something like that. Like, stuff like that, that is absolutely, to me, is both mom and teacher energy because that's what my mom did and had. It's also why I try to be the good child and not get told off very often because that put the fear of God in you sometimes. What is this... 82 jack-offs? In a row? <laughs> Shiva. All right, Jackbox was played. Okay, that makes way more sense. It was Quiplash, and my prompt was, "What made Hulk calm?" I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> Jesus. Thank you for the raid, Shiva. Hopefully, the stream was good. So wait, does this mean you have once called a teacher mom if they have the same energy to you? No, thankfully I've not made that mistake. But I've definitely had a case where I'm like, 
Oh, so that's why mom acts the way she does, huh? <laughs> You and Luca both have mother energy, not to be confused with mother, the series. That's Steven. <laughs> I call the teacher mom exactly once as Deef. Oof. I've definitely seen other students do that. We're just vibing right now. Um, we're, we're like casually playing through this game. This is Adam's Family Values for the Super Nintendo. This is a game from my childhood that I never got to beat. So we're working through it for game clearing here now. But uh, we, we've, been, we've been chatting. It's been a lot of chatting today. Very invested in chat today. So we've been talking about a bunch of stuff. Talking about YouTube stuff. Talking about personal stuff. You know, as it is. I have never called a teacher mom or my equivalent, but I have called too many people John. Well, John's a very common name, so it's not really that big an issue in the grand scheme of things, I think. It's embarrassing, sure, but... We're near a boss fight. I remember that, but I'm afraid to remember which door it is. You're one of only two Johns I know, and I don't call the other one John at all. <laughs> I mean, you could also not call me John. That way you never have to say the name ever again if you want. <laughs> that would solve all your problems at that point. Just retire the name. <laughs> Who needs one of the most common Anglo names in the world? I have the John problem, it's with guys named James instead. So many James. I think, I, what is the name I have to deal with the most? I don't know. Okay, Jami, oh fuck's sake. All right, maybe, maybe we'll go back to using John. Hello, eyeball man. Well, if it's not the fool who gave me the black rose, I would say I'm grateful, but being indescribably evil, uh, and you just happening to be s and happening to stood in the way of my twisted plans, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to hurt you. I'm sure you can see my dilemma, hmm? Eh, don't worry, I'd do the same thing if I were an evil, lying, cheating, overgrown, slime-covered eyeball. Am I fighting you now? I guess I am. Oh boy, I might want to eat one of those cookies. Ah, oh, damn it, I had him stuck for a second. There we go. Is John a more common name than Nicholas? Legit curious. I'm pretty sure John is, like, like the most common English name, isn't it? Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I thought that was actually the case. It was Michael for a while? I think Mike Michael or is the third most common? That Michael's definitely up there. How often people spell your name like John J O H N? Uh fairly often. Fucking Jiggy did it the other day. <laughs> I think James is number one currently. Oh, damn. Okay. James is a solid one, too. But I, I think I've only met one James in my life. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have gone here. Oh, never mind. It's the boss fight. Today to tropical house, tomorrow to world. The sun will never set on the empire of my seedlings. This plant food will make me the strongest, toughest plant that ever lived. Glug, glug, glug. Now, my unwitting accomplice, it seems only you stand between me and my twisted plans of global conquest. All right, we're gonna have to eat that cookie. Oh, right! I can't move when I eat the cookie, so I can't actually- Oh, boy. So 
I gotta be careful of that. Let's get the other cookie ready just in case. Oh, come on. Different pattern. All right, eat the cookie. Ooh, you were stunned with that for a while. Damn it. I think we're gonna get our first game over here. Oh. Some out of cookies now. Oh, if I don't get greedy, we'll be fine. What did I say about getting greedy, John? John, what did I say about getting greedy? Whew. how many hits I got on the right one before it blew up. Yes! There we go. I now have a bottle of Dr. Jive's plant food. Okay, so here's the problem. This is the way out, I think. But I wasn't done exploring in here. There was still another path I hadn't looked at, and I don't have a map to go off of, so. This feels like Fester's Quest 2 gameplay-wise. I mean, in a way, but like the shots don't actually get stuck on everything like it does in Fester's Quest, which is like the big problem with that game. What do the A's in the area do? That's health. I generally have to remember how the fuck we even got... Did we not even go this way either? Because these pumpkins are all alive. I have to be very careful. I don't have any cookies on me currently, so I have no way to heal. Other than random drops. Oh, no, speaking of healing. Thought the skulls were health. The skulls are also health. They are, in fact, both health. We fair live. Thank you so much for the raid. Hopefully, your stream was good. Is this the game with the attack length dependent, being dependent on health? Yes, it is. Indeed it is. This is the full health range. The bullets get stuck on the walls in the US version. The European version patched the bullet issue in Fester's Quest. Oh, so play the European version is what you're saying. Because that would make that game way more playable. <laughs> By a lot. You started P3R tonight. Nice. Hopefully you enjoyed it, Leaf Fair. What way did we not go in here? It was... Because we took the down path when we were in the horizontal room. So it should be here. And it was down we went here. So once I go to the right, then I've explored everything. Yeah, we haven't been in here. Anywhere where there's enemies still, we haven't been. Because thankfully, when you kill enemies, they stay dead. I 
Unless you have to leave the area and come back, then they come back. Oh, it looks like this was only for the health, too. Damn. Because this is the starting area. That's the A that we saw at the beginning. I might as well grab him here. Did you ever watch Wednesday? If so, did you like it? I actually never got around to watching it. I heard it was good. But just never got... It's like, I'm not even watching much stuff right now. Like, I finally got around to watching Scott Pilgrim Takes Off. I really liked that. That was good. But, like, it, it took me being in a position where I wasn't really doing much to do that. I got a, a Jackie Chan collection of movies for Christmas, and I only watched one of those the other day. I've been having a personal motivation issue lately for, I guess, obvious reasons. Uh, like, I have had a bunch of box games I've had to catalog here for the library for a while, and I only started working on them yesterday. I think they've been there since, like, November. So, like, I'm, I've just been having a... I've been having an issue just getting anything done lately, so... Hi, John. I've had a bad week. I got attacked twice for being trans. Once when I was in a nice dress, and the other time I was in a tank top skirt. Oh, Doomsday, I'm sorry that happened to you. Hopefully you're gonna be okay. My lesbian brain was well fed with Scott Pilgrim Takes Off. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> that is correct. Alright, let's go back to Grandma and uh, get some cookies. I think I at least one of the items I have I can give her now. It might be the pumpkin. So at least give me a different cookie type. I don't know how much anime you watched, John, but I started watching uh, Shangri-La Frontier, and the main character made me think of you. I have I not really watching anime anymore. And it's not just because I don't like anime; it's just. I haven't been watching anything lately, basically. The last series I watched... I mean, Reese had me watching Hasbun Hotel a bit the other, uh, last week, but... On my own, the last series I watched might be either Falcon and Winter Soldier or Season 1 of The Witcher. Yo, Granny. Yes, give me some cookies... What a lovely worn eaten spoon you have there. I'll take it off your hands and cook you up something special. Meet me near the greenhouse for some more cookies. Do you have, any, do you have anything else you want? Nope. Okay. Guess you did not want the pumpkin. Do you know if Luca bought the Alistor pinup they're selling for Hasbro Hotel? I don't know, but I wouldn't be surprised. Alrighty, with that, let's go to break. I'd say if you ever wanted something to watch in the background, Shangri-La Frontier might be one. It's about a guy who loves playing bad games. Okay, so I see why you would say it thinks it resembles me in that sense. Me thinks Luca would go for Husk. She does love Husk. Husk is a good character. All right, let's drop some eggs. Toast Wolf 99 for 68. TP Sonic 0895 for 97. Link 60255 for 48. Miss Rainbow Sprinkles for 38. King Monty for 34. Watch Doge Plays for 75. Fred Fred Burger for 36. Espionata for 67. Imploder for 77. The Missing Persona for 24. It's Andrew for 55. PK Meteor Swarm for 62. Amy Lou 14 for 71. Wandering Physicist for 88. Frosty the Dragoon for 33. Mr. Viperfang for 119. NJ Ski for 85. Tunic 626 with a gift sub bomb. Adrian Kell for 32. Deep Hat 21 for 77. Destiny Light 2 for 40. DLO Comics for 77. Captain Joe with a gift sub to Secret Fury. Rising Sun 98 for 43. Uh. 
Simoneth for 53. Oh, I, th I see your message, Simon. Thank you so much. Spawn Combust for 61. Destiny Trio Inc. for 66. Xenopersona 819 for 75. Laughing Boy LP for 62. Nilla Thunder for 45. Selen Vala for 56. Trebbot 911 for 86. Mr. Christie for 67. Wolf Samurai for 122. Cosmic Blizzard for 15. Kamiati for 88. And Jonathan Shepard for 64. Thanks for stopping and hanging out tonight, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of... I actually didn't have the Dropbox open. I got one from Trojan, labeled, You'll give me a pear. As in the fruit. I muted myself, not the music. You will give me this pear! <laughs> give me this pear! Go on a break. When we come back, I'll grab some CoComs, we'll do Dreamwatch, and then uh, probably pop over to Artblock, too. See you guys in a bit. Yo. Hey, buddies. What's going on, guys? How you anyway. doing? Helps if I mute the stream so I don't hear myself. And, Probably you know. a good starting point. Yeah. Cocom feeds up. There's a Cocom feed? What? Whoa. This is so professional. I haven't been here in months. Are we sure this is John's stream? Oh, my God. Fuck you, too. <laughs> Love you, buddy. Uh huh. How's I literally Monday haven't been going? here in months. <laughs> I mean, Pop is right. He, he is right. He been hasn't been. Yeah, say like, he really hasn't been here in months. Path of Exile, or uh, it's called Heartbreak, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Path of Exile or Severe Depression? Yeah. Hey, I have one, one of those.
I like how we just got awkwardly quiet with that. I mean, Path of Exile is basically severe depression in game form. <laughs> you take that back. No, is he, I've is tried. He wrong though. But yeah, I was like, "Am I wrong? I've tried that game before. I couldn't tell if it was making my depression worse or better." Hmm. Been helping me. <laughs> hey, I always tell people, whatever works for you, so long as it's not at the detriment of others. Popski, you need to join us for async next time, bud. We had a blast. I got yelled at yeah. a bunch. Yeah. Oh, did you? What'd you yell that for? No, it was just saying you you kept telling me to do stuff. And I was like, I thought this was supposed to be a casual one. Was I yelling at you? I'm sorry. I, had, I did not mean that by any stretch of the imagination. I was joking because you literally came on stream and started guilt tripping me for it. Oh, yeah. That's just me giving you shit, bud. Yeah. That's what I mean. I see the reverse guilt trip worked. I really haven't been doing much, just working, writing, making that sweet, sweet music. Yeah, for the most part. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. All right, uh, let's do alerts, Dreamwatch, Art Block, and all that jazz, and get back to the game. Alerts-wise, what do we got? No Account Gamer says, Wishing for some luck as my laptop screen is starting to break for some reason. Also, Saturday you said game clearing submissions were available. Is that correct? That is correct. They are available now. If you type exclamation game clear, I think it is in chat, just to make sure. Yes, there's a new form you can submit your 2023 game clearing stuff to. Thanks to someone actually helping me get everything ready, I actually have it ready to post. The form is ready. We're going to leave the form open for the rest of the month, and then we should have everyone's game clearing stuff put together at some point in March. Yay! Yay! Chad, I can tell you who definitely didn't help with that, because they're a lazy piece of shit, and that's me. Me! Haha! <laughs> I can tell you two people now, apparently. No, I do mean 2023, because this is everyone can put their 2023 game clearing results in. Because normally I do that at the beginning of the year, and I just didn't do it in January until someone was like, Hey, do you want me to just do this? And I'm like, please, it would be very appreciated. Yeah, this is results, not suggestions. So people can put their results from their last year of game clearing. Because so if you did like, here's like my top 10 games I did last year. Here's a list of all the games I beat last year. That. Yes, all the merch stuff that has been ordered is in production. The hoodies, the pins, the mouse pads, the shirt. They're all in production. Malkuniyame says, it's my birthday today, so donating for some birthday luck. I want went to the local aquarium for my birthday, and it was very healing for my soul. Happy birthday, Naku. Hopefully you're doing Happy good. Birth. Hopefully you had a good one. Happy birth. Sponsor is still up? Ah, shit. Yeah, no, tonight's not sponsored. I don't have any sponsors lined up at the moment. Boop. All right, that's gone. Is that why my hoodie has not come in yet? Because it's still in production? Correct. They are currently all being made. And then they get shipped. Because the hoodies take the longest to do. I think last time they took two months for them to be made. So, and I know they only started production... Shit, when was it? I think it was very early January. Derek TDH says, use this to get the following two games off of Steam. Corn Kids 64 and Ricky and Vicky, which is on sale right now. Also, if you can, please watch the trailer for Ricky and Vicky. If you haven't, one of your friends from the Something Awful days makes a voice cameo in it. I'm going to assume it's going to be Medibot. It's Medibot or Raukau. It's one of the two. 
Oh, it could be actually. Sorry, not Medibot. Oh well, no, it could be Medibot. It could be Psych. Hang on. Let me let me go. Put those quickly in the cart. As I realize, I never picked up the ones from last time. They're still sitting in the cart. Corn kids. Sixty-four. Add to cart. Wow. Wow. Uh, wow. Ricky and wow. Ricky. Wow. I'm surprised there's not a second version of that that's, uh... God, what's his name? Owen Wilson. I am a little surprised, too. Congratulations! You're kidding me. Demon Lord of Inconvenience. You're fucking kidding me. It was beef? Doing his fucking Ridley voice, incredible. Amazing, amazing. All right, well, I was way off on my guess, but here we go. Thank you so much for that, Derek. Chaos says, hey John, fun fact, did you know in terms of human and Pokemon relations, Sock got sued by the PBS for impersonating Bert from Sesame Street and selling illegal British candy to children. Not 100% sure if I've made this joke here, but... Wow. Thanks, Chaos. I don't think I've seen that one before. No Account Gamer says, If you're taking YouTube suggestions, I'd like to see you beat Resident Evil Remake under three hours for two reasons. One, your YouTube channel has no Resident Evil 1 videos, unless I missed something. No, there's none. And two, I want to know how you're supposed to get the rocket launch. <laughs> ah! We have a playthrough of Resident Evil 1, the original version, on the VOD channel, but that's about it. Hey, Cole. Hey, Cole. How you doing? Grease Lightning says, John, if you have somehow, you have somehow cracked so many eggs, you deserve the honorary girl card, I think. Do I? <laughs> I think if anything, that just means I'm a shitty chef. Alright, I'll end on this one from Cool Al. It's great meeting you and everyone else at MAGFest, and I definitely had fun at throwing controllers. Thank you, Al. Appreciate it. Let's run countermeasures for Cole. So much for the raid. Hopefully your stream was good, my dude. You're just in time for Dream Watch. Which I'll slide into here in a minute. I'm just gonna grab some. Pop already had to slip out, so I'm gonna see if anyone else wants to take his slot. So while John does that, how's chat doing tonight? I'm catching up with all the people. Alright. I'm making the jummy of all omelets. <laughs> But John, isn't the point of a chef to crack eggs, though? How else are you supposed to eat them without the shell? I mean, I guess. No, you're supposed to eat the shell. That's where all the calcium is. The rest of it is just cholesterol. It's bad for you. <laughs> I feel like an ass for my earlier comment, but other than that, it's all good. I don't even remember what you said, so you're fine. <laughs>
When do you expect the hoodies to get shipped? I think you guys probably have another month. It probably won't ship out till like the near the end of March, unfortunately. So much for them kind of getting in during like, you know, winter in North America. I mean, El Nino, we have no fucking clue what winter's looking like for the next few months. Eh, true. Because I'm pretty sure it's both... I'm pretty sure it's freezing rain outside right now. Mm, almost. It's like 40 degrees out right now. And pissing rain. How about the mouse pad? Same deal. Alright, well, while we're waiting on COCOM status, how about we do Dreamwatch? Yeah. What about the bras? We're not doing the bras! Oh my god. Is stuff still on sale? Yes, you can still buy stuff from the shop because we had to do all the the amount of orders we did were under the minimum so i have extras so anything that's available in the shop right now is an extra one that is definitely available and will ship once it is in stock so hey john yeah. what's the licensing rights on rosa bras uh what do you mean is that like for use like you know we have sewing machines is that for use there why? Is that a market I can pin? Why why are why does everyone I know like this? <laughs> it wouldn't be possible to change size on a pre-order hoodie, would it? Yes, Hylian, you should be able to do that. You, I think there's an email you can send into. What about Rosa binders for the transphobe? Uh, if we do bras, we'll do binders, but we don't have access to either at the moment, so. Like attacks like, you troll. God damn it, you're right. The funny part is, is you know like attracts like attracts like, because you were, I didn't even inflict myself upon you personally. Ugh. Your friends did this to you. That's true. You still call them friends, surprisingly. That's true. Are you my brother, Rex Racer? <laughs> You are his brother. I can see the resemblance even under that mask. Ag. Rosa breasts for the transfer? What? No. <laughs> I can't offer breasts. I can't do that. After the Cobalt says, so I think I messed up on the game clearing thing. The last question was, would you like to link your spreadsheet or something? And I just put, yes, <laughs> thinking there would be a second page to actually submit a link or image. <laughs> Yeah, you were supposed to actually link the spreadsheet or something like there at that point. So we had, for reference's sake, last year we had an issue where people were submitting images or spreadsheets because I had it set you could upload them. But it gave everyone their Google account names, which included a lot of people using their real names. So this time around, we're having people link it off-site so it doesn't do that. <laughs> but unfortunately, as a result, uh, there might be some confusion, so... It's game clear, by the way. It's game clear. Uh, fuck. What was I actually saying just then? God damn it. Oh, Dreamwatch, right. I already... I pressed the button already, didn't I? Yeah, Draco joined in. He's got himself muted. There we go. Now he's I'm unmuted. You ruined my surprise. What was your Darn surprise? Aha! No surprise for you. Curse has foiled again. Got him. All right, uh, Dreamwatch, I got one dream, and I have to censor this one slightly, because uh, uncomfortable topic comes up. But otherwise, this is the dream. This one's all over the place. I'm in a car's back seat, talking to Masay, who's standing on the side of the road. We had just played Fortnite in the dream, so we were talking strategy and how it went, viewing highlights and stuff. Some kids are staring at us through the left back seat window. They're dressed like Girl Scouts. I wave hi, and they just kind of stare before getting into a car. But the last girl stays and stares a bit longer before whispering, help. Cut to a show about a specialist who deals with kids and trauma and has dealt with these three specific kids before. Censoring topic here. They've been following this guy for a while. Uh, 
almost in a Columbo-styled way based on how the interviews with him go before the arrest. I've been watching this entire show on my phone on a bus. I take a bus to my old house and walk up to my parents' old car to open the trunk. Bagel's hanging out around outside and says hi by rubbing against my legs. Uh, one of my uncles shows up and explains what I need to do with the car, what I'm gonna find in the trunk, but doesn't say what. Looking inside, the trunk seems to be a void and nothing is visible. I climb inside the trunk and... I'm in a classroom doing a practice quiz with a bunch of other people from high school. My teacher is one I had in university, though. We're allowed to have our hint books out, though, which are the Bible. The questions aren't religious, though, and the Bible is actually somehow the entirety of Google in one small book. I'm not really doing much of the quiz due to it being three pages and just a practice quiz. But teacher says she might make it count as the real one, so I panic and start filling it out. I have a Sharpie as my pen, and I just start going through it as fast as possible. This is also when I realize the quiz is actually like ten pages, not three. I start answering the questions, which are things like, what people wear high heels, and what's the conversion rate on turning gold into another material, and other semi-nonsensical questions. Uh, the Bible has answers for all these questions, and all the text is readable, even if it's written in the style of the old books of the Bible. Teacher goes to get another teacher to watch class so she can take a lunch break. This time it's a teacher from my junior high this time. And while they're swapping, somehow water gets spilled all over my desk. I wipe it up while the student in front of me grabs some paper towels to help. With the desk cleaned and the other teacher in, I go back to the quiz, but realize I have another class coming up that's going to have another pop quiz, and I start dreading it until I realize I'm in a dream. But before I can try to do anything, my alarm goes off and wakes me up. Hooray, school dreams. And how they Hooray. still fucking happen. Did you pass? Hey John, you have a test tomorrow. Did don't you even study? don't even do that to me. <clears throat> do you know how many fucking nightmares I've had of that? Like that's yes, that, that will actually cause them. Yeah, I still have PTSD response to that. Fairly list means you must conquer their fear by doing a test. We'll get you one set up tomorrow. Let's go. I mean, it depends on who you ask. Full Metal Alchemist, it's equivalent to exchange. Okay. Yes, but let's say I want to make a pine tree. How much gold would I need? Do I need more tree gold than tree? Do I need less gold than tree? Well, is it goods and services gold, or is it alchemy gold? Yes. Is there, is there a difference? Yeah, goods and services gold means I pay, like, I don't know, 350s worth of gold for a freaking tree. Okay, like, an How actual we, yeah, bar of say... gold. Like, let's say I hypothetically robbed a bank and now I have a lot of gold. How much would I need to turn into a pine tree? Again, is it a goods and service or an alchemy thing? I don't know, whatever they keep in banks. No, I'm saying turning it into a tree. Are you purchasing a tree or alchemizing it into a tree? Oh. Hmm. Uh, let's do alchemy. Then you need a tree's worth. Thanks, that helps a lot. <laughs> I mean, it depends on the size of the tree. Want a small tree? Need a little bit of gold. Okay, but how much is a little bit of gold for a tree? We don't know how much gold is the equivalent. That's the problem. That's what Google's for. Okay, yeah. Where's my Bible? Exactly. You know, Bible would be hella fucking handy if it was just portable Google. Retrograde 889. Here's your Wismaduke. Yay! Duke's looking came. awfully old. Yeah. I love how that one came out, Draco. You know, it's, it's Yabby J. What else could I do? There he is. Yay. Yay. Now, I know you were talking about TV earlier. I don't remember somebody asked you, have you seen Wednesday? No, someone did ask that. I, I have not. I've heard it's okay. good, though. It is. I enjoyed it. Very nice. Also, the dude that plays faster and it does a good job. It was... Oh, shit. I know who it is. He used to be on Seth Meyers a bunch. Oh, oh, God, yeah. Um, yes, I... Brain just placed him for some reason. Somehow, I had not placed him until just now. I'm like, oh, fuck, I know that guy. I can see in my brain, like, other roles he's played.
All right, so where is Grandma? There she is. Hi, Grandma. Hello again, dearie. Hope you're not changing your socks. Uh, no, Granny. And I hope you're always forgetting to wash your hands after going to the restroom. Yes, Granny. Good, then Granny has got a little treat for little Fester. Granny, I'm a grown man now. Hee <laughs> that's nice, dear. Would you like some more cookies? Take these. Yeah, They're a new cool. flavor. Crusty cookies made from real dandruff and old scabs. They taste foul and can make you invincible. All right, so that'd be the blue cookies. The crusty cookies make us invincible for a bit. Is the picture for this one Christopher Lloyd faster? It kind of looks like it. I mean, that's like if they're going off the movie, that's what it should be. Oh no, is it time for another hypothetical about a city? All right, what do we got this time? Oh dear. From Will Peters. Hypothetically, a city pays you, let's say, $5 billion to live in it. Uh, you would have to stay there for a year, and you would only get paid once you fully moved in. Said city is perpetually in the shade as it gets absolutely no sunlight. No matter where you go in the city, no sunlight. The only way to get sunlight is to leave the city. Would you take the offer? Call comes, you can also answer. Or call co comes, you can also answer. Absolutely. That's just living in <laughs> the north. That's living in Canada. Yeah. Yeah. I Absolutely. Mean, yeah, hundred percent. Sun lamps are a thing too. Am I allowed to spend the five billion in the city? And you don't get it till you live there for a year. Oh, sorry. It says, oh, oh, oh you had to fully move in. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Then, then yeah. Okay. Like, so, oh, yeah. Like, could, I, could I just buy like you know Christmas lights, hang them up everywhere? That'd be fun. Yeah, you can do that. Get, get some vitamin C supplements or whatever the heck the yeah, sun the heck gives not? you. Tanning bed. You can do this. Yeah, this, no, that, they they that, do this in like the in the Northwest Territories. Yeah, like, this is literally a thing. Piece of not not five billion dollars, but they will pay you to move there and like do jobs. They might pay you five dollars. Like, they'll pay I'm you more than five bucks. Okay. Christopher Lloyd is a tricky action to properly get likeness rights to. When the pinball arcade ad Adams family, they had to alter Fester's appearance to get the, on the playfield because they couldn't get the rights to Lloyd's likeness. Interesting. That doesn't terribly surprise me. He's done so much, and he's so freaking prolific that I'm sure his likeness is worth a shitload. Note to self, get famous and get my own pinball table. That's the dream, baby. I mean, John is both famous and owns his own pinball table. Well, yeah, but I don't have, it's he's not a Proton John themed pinball table. So you're saying Ooh. we should make that happen? Well, someone was doing that at one point. They were designing a digital one. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, they made the 3D one, but the physics couldn't work or something. I think I still have the music files they made. I know they did publicly post it, so... Or what they had, at least. But we need, like, a physical pinball table, so okay. let's see. That'd probably cost oh, that money. didn't give me health. That gave me invincibility. I guess the A's do random things. Hmm. Oh. Huh. Darn, I'm just invincible now. Oh, never mind. I will say that it is not my fault. Chat is entirely of its own volition gone to a new pinball fund. Uh, guys, I, I appreciate it. I really do, but... If I was going to do anything for a fundraiser, it would be for the main cabinet. And even then, I'm not doing that yet, because I need to get Don't you have a cab you can convert? I mean, I have an arcade one up. Is that the one that you have in the background? The asteroids looking? The asteroid I, one, I sold the asteroid one months ago. Oh, I didn't realize you sold the asteroid ones. Okay. Yeah, I, like it needed, it needed work I wasn't able to do on it, and I just wasn't doing anything with it, so I parted with it. Fair. Excellent idea, dude. Fun just for the ball and nothing else. <laughs> Not the cabinet, nothing else. Just just one ball bearing. No, see, the thing is, is the, the true Proton John pinball cabinet uses not your standard pinball ball bearings. These things are actually the size of, like, a baseball. Oh, my okay. God. So it's just that fucking, like, Hercules pinball table? Or whatever it's called, I mean, the Gigantor pinball table? 
I feel like, actually, you know what? I feel like we start with something smaller than your average pinball. And every time you hit a multi-ball or something, the ball that gets fed back to you, it just gets bigger. Oh my god. That would be so, a pain so... in the ass to develop, though. Yeah, you the idea is funny, make... but yeah. You I mean, that's why it's digital. You a ball that could expand in size? Oh, if oh, it's digital, digital, then you could do that. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah a digital yeah, table, you do that. Like, no, a physical table, that just isn't feasible. Oh, it's not feasible. It's pretty... Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's a way to do it, like maybe swap the balls out, or... Hercules um, was the table that used a billiard pool ball. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Feed me! Nice. Feed me Here, yo, ground weed, eat this and get out of my way. Gee, thanks, I'll move now. I'm gonna guess that was the pumpkin he ate. Probably? No. No, I don't know what he ate. <laughs> Did he take a cookie? No, no, John ate the cookie himself. Uh, I have no idea what he ate. The plant food, apparently. Ah, uh, okay, so that's just like a, a constant in my inventory item then. Okay. You can smell it before you can see it. The swamp. Paradise. Yay, mm. vacation. Hey. I got full health. No point taking it. Indeed, even. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's gross. What? That thing does not. Well, that thing does not die easy. Uh, <laughs> Most things uh... in this game don't. To be fair. A lot of things in this game take a lot of hits. I mean, just for the speed it moves at, it's terrifying. I always like Centipede. It does explode pretty well. Explosive Centipede. Alright. Well, this is not useful. This is Dungeon 3! Okay, so we've skipped a dungeon. Aha! Progress. Dungeon. What? I said it's Dungeon. Oh. Ah. Dungeon. And unfortunately, that counted as leaving an area, so all the enemies are back. Yay! Free XP! There's no XP in this it game. Free like XP. Windows or? Yes. Okay. What, you think I was going to give you the shoddy E version of it? I mean, I wouldn't put it past you. Well, some people like EXP, what can I say? True, that's true. Those people are real characters. Where in the... Oh, is this leading me? My god. First we leave the swamp, then we go back into the swamp. It's starting to feel like one of those games maybe I should get a map for. Oh. Yep. Oh. Ooh. Ah, uh, while I was dying, I took another hit too. Well, darn. Oh, yeah, this guy. Oh, my, I appear to be stuck fast. Could you help me out of here, please? Give him the pumpkin. Do you have a crowbar? Give him the pumpkin. Trans Mansion Express. Okay. All right, so from what I remember, I have to make a potion that shrinks him down. That's the only way to actually get access to that. Can we do the Winnie the Pooh thing and just wait it out? 
I knew the first thing I'd see in chat was, you tell me this whole Express is trans? I knew someone, someone was going to do it. Here on the Proton John channel? It's more likely than you yep. think. So regarding that game clearing Google form, when it says top fave game clears, is that specific for 2023 games or just in general? Games that you cleared in 2023. The entire form relates to your 2023 game clears. Yeah. They can be games, that, anything they can that, be games that came out in any year. It's just explicitly, <clears throat> did you beat the game in 2023? Yeah. If it's not explicitly clear about it, assume it means 2023 game clear. Mm-hmm. All right, so we know we can't do anything with this yet. Good news is a dead end. Yeah, let's be honest, there are a butt ton of LGBT people in your community. That's true. That is entirely true. Ah, there's Wednesday and Pugsley. Hello, Fester. What are you up to? We're playing Hunt the Psychopath. There's one inside this hole, but we have no light. And would therefore be hacked apart before we could defend ourselves. Fester, give me that pumpkin. Where are your manners, young lady? Fester, give me that pumpkin now. Better. Now here you go. Now all we need is a candle. Set the pumpkin before you add a candle? You need to sound more dead inside for Wednesday? That's true. <clears throat> girl voice, girl voice, girl voice. Fester, give me that pumpkin now. Give me that pumpkin now, Uncle Fester. Nah, I still can't kind of do it. Hoarder's Lair, members only. Hey, we're members, right? Of course. Fake it till you make it. If you did an escort to help a dude out, there's funny dialogue when you get to the lift. Interesting. Speaking of, have you seen the Wednesday next series on Netflix? This is the third time I've answered this now, but yes, I have not seen it. I can't tell if Gokai's memeing or he's serious. And they, they usually pop away for our block, so probably was serious. Mm. Gotcha. So can't take that bridge. What pass do we even have left at this point? Uh, you can go south from over here, can't you? No, nope, that was that the was bridge. the bridge. Oh, okay. I was trying to interpret that map that you had up there for a second. Yeah, so the the bridge looking icons are bridges. Um, usually if you see an arrow, that means it's a staircase you can enter. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's south from the right, okay. Yeah. So uh, we've gone in every direction from this place, basically. This kid's meetup is important because it's a life increase. Gotcha. So I need that candle is what you're saying. Okay, I'm seeing it now. I'm, I'm understanding this map now. It's unique. It is unique. Which is the best version of the Addams Family? The original series from the 60s, the 90s movies, or the recent anime film? I, I have a soft spot for the movies. I like the original show. I got to see it when they used to re-air it all the time. Uh, I like the 90s show as well. But uh, I think the movies just kind of hold a special part. Raul Julia just did an amazing job as Gomez. The fact that I'm only using my right hand. Should be palpitating. You use your left hand to shoot lightning. We're civilized here. I mean, you'd be—you'd literally be confused for Palpatine at that point. What no, I? Use both hands. That's what I'm saying. If you use both hands. No, no, no. He only uses one hand at a time. Totally different. Mm. 
Gotcha, gotcha. Gotta keep the trademark. I still can't get over the fact that the baby's name is Pubert. Yeah, that's what they named him in the movie. Hubert E. Oh. Adams. And these swamp monsters do not care that they're getting shocked to death. Eh, works for me. Uh, fine, whatever. Whatever, just kill me. Hey, look, more swamp monsters, more EXP. Mm -hmm. oh, I guess they didn't respawn. No, they don't respond unless I leave the area. Like, like oh, the, leave the like area. The area, okay. not the room. Not the, the screen. Area. Okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Which I'm assuming he's doing right now. Like, if I go back, I don't know if that's considered the same area or not, so they shouldn't be there. Oh, no, they're back. Uh, yep. They yep. are back. That's interesting. I assume it's like a fade out or whatever. Hubert was actually the original name Charles Adams himself came up with for Pugsley. He had to pick something else when network sensors uh, vetoed Pubert. Interesting. Huh. You mean to tell me that network sensors vetoed something, you know, correctly? I hate to say it, but... Oh, come on. Don't you want a Pubert in your life? I mean... That's just some low-hanging fruit there. Let's be real. Don't you dare say. Okay. Rare Rosa. How? Oh, shell shock. Evil J. Brian got the Rare Rosa and says, Wednesday's first and middle names have a meaning. According to Morticia, Wednesday's first name comes from a fortune-telling song called Monday's Child, in which Wednesday's child is full of woe. Her middle name is Friday because she was born on Friday the 13th. So Wednesday, Friday, Adams. God damn it, the bees are back. Not the bees. These things actually are kind of a pain in the ass to hit, because you can only hit them when they go down to sting, but if you're too close to them when they do that, they get you. Ugh. Yep, it looks, uh, fun. Let's see what this staircase is. The deserts. Okay. There's okay. definitely gonna be a candle. Whoa. I definitely see. gonna be a candle here. Yeah, just dodge the eyeballs, all you gotta do. Giant exploding eyeballs. Giant regrowing exploding eyeballs. Keeping a watch on you. Where did this put me? The Rockies? My god, how many fucking areas? All of them. It's another reuse the enemies with significantly more health? I think this actually has about the same amount of health. Oh, um, it's just... Yeah, I guess it's just I'm... moving fast enough he wasn't hitting it. I actually, I can't tell. I... Mm, so, yeah, remember I also, um, you guys might not have heard this part, like, the color of my shot also does less damage. So, I'm yeah, I'm, blue, less I'm doing the most damage. He's, uh... In other words, it's Cause... impossible to tell if this thing has more or less health. I think it is about the same, personally. Oh, yes. Yeah, so I always love the mechanic of kick the player while they're down. Oh, this game does this very well. Trust me. What's that? You took damage? Now it's going to be even harder. Get good or get wrecked. Gaming. Are you a... You are a good guy. Okay. Help me, Fweep. Cough, cough. Why? Because I'm a poor little Fweep who has lost his voice. Cough, cough. Talking. Shut up. Fweep, I'm so sad. Cough. I said shut up. I'm so pathetically weak and helpless. Cough, cough. Unless you want to be pathetically weaker, I would shut up. I've lost my voice. Cough, cough, cough. I'm so upset for you. Anyways, if you have lost your voice, how come you were talking to me? You think this loathsome croak is my voice? We fweeps wave la have loud grating foghorns of voices. Cough, please help me find my voice. No. I can give you a gift. Cough, cough. Rattle, rattle. What's that? 
Another one of my noises. Cough. A rattle. I guess that. Let me see. Only if you promise to be nice with it. Cough, 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 and respect it as someone else's property. No. Give me the rattle. It's Baby Puber's rattle. You can tell by the razor wire on the handle. Where'd you get this? I found it near the mansion. I'm looking for the brat the rattle belongs to. How do I get near the to the mansion? Fweep! Cough, cough. Fweep, foop. There is only one way into the mansion, and that's by the by trans. Cough, cough, cough. Mansion Express. The station is just west of here, but you don't want to go there. Yes, I do. I'll tell you what. Help me find the brat, and I'll help you find your voice. But on one condition, that you stop being a toadying, whining, pathetic wretch. Yes, sir, Mr. Fester, sir. Anything you say. Cough, cough, cough. Good. I'm glad we understand each other. I will search over this way, and uh, you can search over there. Do you think it's a good idea that we split, or cough, 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 split up? Oh, yeah. For the sake of my sanity and your health, I think it's a very good idea. Let's meet up later near the entrance to the Transmatched Express. I now have a skull rattle. Which I can't help but notice does not have any barbed wire on it. Hello again, Fester. Can't stop around. I think I'm onto a lead. How did he know his name was Fester? He's got a reputation, I assume. Okay. Twilight Autumn, thank you for the raid. Weep is the guy that's part of the dialogue for the swamp lift. Gotcha. I mean, that's the Transmansion Express, so I assumed as much. That worked, team. Now I get to walk all the way back. Yeah, we came up here just to find Fweep and get the rattle. Fetch Chris. Hooray! Man, you know what'd be great is if something dropped some health so I don't have to eat my other cookie. Oh, I have been told for those of you that have been submitting your spreadsheets for game clearing, uh, make sure that you have it enabled that people can view it. <laughs> yeah, yeah that'll you, help. Can you tell chat to allow viewing access to their spreadsheets if they're going to submit them? Yeah. Yeah, that uh, that would be helpful. Yeah, this thing looks like quite the game. Yeah, it's it's basically a Zelda game. It's such an interesting idea. This is a game I played as a bunch as a kid, but never finished, so. So I'm excited to hopefully finish it on stream, but I don't know how long it's going to take. How, I'm shocked how massive of a game this appears to be. Yeah, especially for a movie tie-in game. Uh, I missed it. Who does this one? This is Ocean. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, Ocean. All right, here's the question now. Do I look around here some more? Because hmm. I know we found Fweep for that reason, but... Likely there's other shit based on the map. There's a buffalo skull. Why can't we take that one? Let's get some health back. Good to know the plan has a skull. Oh, Sarlacc pit. Hey, stay back. Ugh, I got terrible indigestion. Ugh, this guy I swallowed about an hour ago. Ugh, I was carrying a weird black cube. Ugh, I went down a straight. The cube thing just sits inside me and will not budge. Ugh. Hey, stay back. Okay, stay through. All right, we found a Sarlacc pit. Classic. Yeah, we got a bridge too. So, interesting. Hmm.
What's that even gonna lead to? That's a good question. Oh, you a big boy. Oh, you're a very big oh. boy. Rolly boy. Where's Chris? We got a boulder to punch. And this puts us back in the Rockies. Okay. But the only way out of here is another bridge? Yeah. Global timers? Because they both change at the same time. No, it just was convenient. The hell did he just drop? A pebble. Oh, right! You do get sub weapons. I forgot. Ooh. I figure that's what that circle is on your UI. No, that's just where you equip stuff. I've used, I already had a bunch of stuff in there. Huh. Virtue uh, magic blocking rope. Damn it. Yeah. Sunk cost fallacy, baby! Alright, we gotta eat that cookie. Why is the rock immune to light? Oh, never mind. Oh, wrong button. There we go. But now we're out of heels. Well. The proprietor of this dingy little shop appears to be a gargoyle. Psst, want to buy some marbles? Are they dangerous? Only in the wrong hands. I'll take all you have. How much? One small stone per marble. Still interested? I'll take those rocks and you can take these fine handcrafted marbles. Call again soon. Now have some blue marbles. Well, I've only got one, but... Okay. Alright, so we know how to turn rocks into marbles. Now, if only we had more rocks to turn into marbles. I saw that bird's nest over there. Which I apparently cannot get to. Okay. Well. And dead end. Okay. Classic. Is this a Zelda like? It sure is. It's a Zelda like if Link was a wrinkly old man and can shoot lightning out of his hands. So the way mm. Zelda should be. Yes. So therefore, it's better Zelda. Take him instead. Takes the old man with him instead of the sword. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, you're just playing as one of the old mans from the original Zelda. Perfect. This is why I didn't need the sword, because he had lightning hands. It all makes sense yeah. now. He also knew how dangerous it was, yet he chose to live there. The old man was a scam. Scam all along! I knew it. I want some more marbles, please. You want to buy some marbles, kid? Oh, okay. I actually have to go through the dialogue every time. Shit. This is an extremely inefficient business. It really is. Uncle, he's got nothing but time. <laughs> oh my god. Did someone actually do the math? Hang on. Oh boy, Give, oh boy, oh boy. Given that gold weighs 196.97 grams per mol, uh, glucose weighs 180 grams per mol, water is 18.01 grams per mol, 
Chlorophyll is 893.51 grams per M, and a pine tree is roughly 5,200 pounds, or 2,358 kilograms for John. Uh, assuming equal amounts of glucose, water, and chlorophyll in the tree, and that the goal is in 1,000 gram bars, you would need roughly 2,360 1,000 gram bars of gold to equal said tree fully grown. One 1,000 gram bar is worth $66,180, but the amount of gold needed to make the, the tree, you could just buy several of the world's largest forests. I see. Um, amazing. Excellent. Chat. That is a measurement in chemistry. Mm -hmm. Mole is red like mole. Okay. MOL is red like mole. Gotcha. So you're saying I have to rob a lot of banks to make a new forest? Yeah, yeah. You got to rob Fort Knox. Okay. Well, I mean, the assumption there, the, the, not to say that that math is completely flawed, but the assumption there is equal parts chlorophyll, uh, glucose, and uh, water. I think it was. Yeah. Uh, that's true. And, yeah, there's not a chance it's equal part. Like, chlorophyll is probably significantly less of the tree. That's true. Okay, we're going to need to... Okay, I'm going to rob a bank, make one tree, and then we'll chop that up into its uh, little molecular parts and figure out which one is each, and then we can make trees more efficiently later. You know, just the... Uh... <laughs> Shit, it still requires robbing Fort Knox, though, to, to make this tree. Yeah. I played Payday I, once or twice. I'm sure we can pull it off. I will say props to you for doing that math. Indeed. Well done. I do feel like we learned something today, and that is don't bother robbing a bank. Ooh, an A. Yay! Invincibility again. Oh, go kill those things. You can find them. Oh, wait, shoot. How do we turn the... Three. Ah, uh, shoot! I didn't actually learn how to turn gold into the tree. Darn it! Yeah, that's that's that might be the the actual important part. Okay, we'll figure that part out first. Nuclear fissures. Hmm. Isn't every proton John stream a learning experience though? But yeah, half the time you're just learning about boobs though, and the other half you're learning about video games. Normally, you don't I learn mean, about actually cool. useful about things like alchemy. Games. Oh, what? Yeah, right. yeah. Well, I mean, you, you gotta start with the basics, you know? Start with basic human needs like video games, and you go up the chart from there to alchemy. I definitely thought you were about to say basic human needs like boobs. Oh, uh, yes. On uh, um, the pyramid of basic human needs, boobs. Ranks right up there with shelter. I mean, that depends on the person, really. Have we ever actually learned anything about boobs? I mean, I think I taught a bunch of people about bras once, about bra sizing. That's true. Constantine, thank you for the raid. Poops ah! can be shelter from bad things? Damn. Really? Physically? Yeah, I agree. I'm not 100% sure how effective they would be, though. I mean, oh. a little bit here I mean, and there. Like, emotional, sure, but... sure, yeah. Oh, emotional, yeah, there's that. But like, if a giant rock's coming at me, I'm, I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, boob ain't gonna stop a giant boulder. Depends on the size of and those no real tiger big honker badongers. Whoops. I mean, you've literally just given Art Block its prompt for the day. That's why I said like that's not a challenge. It's not a challenge, it's a suggestion. Too late, John. Jeez. My bad. Work just work too fast. Why do you guys not drop any fucking health? Well, they game. Can't They're meant all to be brutal. Have skulls. Oh boy. Alright, I'm in trouble now. Oh. Your other yeah. two cookies are invincibility, right? They're invincibility, yeah, but they're not heals. Yeah. True. Wait, where was the other bridge? The last screen you were on north had two bridges. No. Yes. See how it goes up and to the right and goes down a different way? Well, uh, yeah, so like the, the other bridge is down here. Wait, am I misunderstanding what 
screen you were on? I'm on the X. Right, that's what I'm saying. If you went north, there was another there's another bridge to the south off of that one. No, oh, the just, bridge right? counts as a screen. Yes, you go up to the bridge to the empty yeah. square. Yeah. And can't you go south another bridge off of that? I can't because the bridge is broken. Ah, that's what I missed. Sorry, Thank you. that's the part you missed. Yes, John, I was using what I'm doing for my degree in biology to figure out how much gold is equal to a tree. I'm proud of you, Dementor. <laughs> hey, hey, use that degree in biology. I mean, go for it. Okay, I think we're in trouble now. Hmm. Item drop rate! Damn it. I don't remember where the game puts you if you have to continue. Oh, right. Alright, whatever. Guys, the Zappy Goot's back. I mean, this is probably the best part to be... Yeah, so this is the perfect time to be... Yeah. I just gotta make sure they don't sneak up on the on my left hand side. And they just do not care. You need an accident to bounce them off oh, the wall. Thank God. Aha! Need one more of those. You could, use, uh, you could use a lot more of those right now. One more will make this significantly easier. We could use like eight more. There it is. Okay. What? Okay. Uh, skulls have two. They count as two. Oh, uh, I no. I thought you went back to green it. No, that's it. Got to be at the halfway point. Have I even got a password yet? Sure haven't. I think I have to find Gomez to get the password. You might want to find Gomez the or it. There we go. There Green. we go. Green, much better. Aha! Our powers are returning. I just wish the the freaking healing drop rate was higher. Montara, yeah. that sounds about on point. Well, it's funny how the most I know about Adam's family is the musical, and Fester's plotline in that is that he keeps the ancestors from going back to the afterlife for Wednesday's date to go well. Also, he's in love with the moon and eventually makes a jetpack fly there. Yeah, that, that sounds very Adam's family-ish. Is it just the range of the attack, or does it also deal less damage? It also does deal less damage. I think this is where you want to farm, because you've gotten a lot of health on this bridge. Yeah... Uh, does Grandma restock all your cookies, or do you need to hit, like, certain milestones? Um, I think she does all cookies, but I don't know if I have to go to specific spots to get her to do the other cookies. Because I know that the, uh, the starting area is... It's the blue one. Yeah. Yeah. Brave. I know. Brave and foolish, because unfortunately... Oh, there we got one. Ta-da! We've got to get some health extensions, just so I can have blue status for longer. What's your status? Blue. Oh, I'm stop. Blue. 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 There we go. Yeah. Got unlimited power, chat. Now, I wish I had knowledge of direction, because I'm not actually sure where I should be going right now. All right. Uh, if you want to go back to Grandma, it's to the right. I could go check out the L, the trans path and uh, get that, that dialogue. Currently a dead end? It currently is a dead end, but it also gives me a dialogue bit, apparently. Because Fweep's just sitting there waiting. Oh, okay. I also need to find a candle so that they can put it in a pumpkin. Yeah, and that will give me also health, I believe. Decisions, decisions. I don't think I remember how the fuck to get around everywhere here, too, is the other thing. A 
If you get more tish with the rattle, you will get another health increase. All right, so that's good. We'll go back and do that. I had a feeling on that one. All right, final health. Ooh, I almost wasn't looking. Not our unlimited power. Hey, Fweep. Uh, hello, Fweep. This chap appears to be stuck in the entrance to the trains. Mansion Express. We could blow him out if we had some dynamite. No, Fweep. I don't think that would be very nice. Cough, cough, cough. Besides, the dynamite would collapse the tunnel. We could dissect him if we had a chainsaw. What is this wee nonsense? Ugh. Anyways, uh, anyway, how could you get the bits out, out that out that were stuck in the tunnel? We could burn him out if we had a flamethrower. Now then, if we, that's not very nice. Ugh. And uh, where would we get a flamethrower? Just a can of gas to do the trick. You have a sick and twisted mind, Fester. Thank you, Fweep. How about shrinking him? Would it be painful? Unfortunately, yes. Extremely painful. Okay, I'll go along with that. So how do we shrink the fatty? Uh, don't know. <laughs> but I could try and find a way. Don't bother, Fweep. I have a feeling Granny may be able to cook up a solution to this problem. Is Weep just a legless cuber? It looks like. Help, I'm not supposed to be in this game. Why are these people here? Uh, I believe you mean to say rap, 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 rap. Oh, I mean, he lost his voice, so. Mm, true. And his legs. And his cube. Oh, that's the cube in the eye. Ah, everything makes sense. Yeah. Oh, ah, okay. So, Grandma's off to the right. Gonna take a bit to get to her, though. Hey, remember walking all the way to the dead end? Now walk all the way back to the starting area. Pretty much. Backtracking in a movie tie-in game? Never. Lester needs his exercise, I assume. Now, is that the one I need? I think it is, actually. Good question. Oh, yeah. Because I yes. went in this uh, path. Yep, there we go, it. yep. Never did finish looking around here, either, now that I think about it. Bees! Damn it. Fucking bees! Bye. Fucking behave. punching trees. Car says filed again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back off, back off. Just because I got plant food, back off. Alright, I think this is a different progress, so maybe I should not be fucking around with this. Maybe this is um, where Dungeon 2 is. Yeah, I would argue that this is probably where Dungeon 2 is. It would take me the four. other way around forests and swamps. Yeah. I don't know if I should be exploring if I don't have any cookies, though. That's my only concern. Any worst case scenario, you could probably pop an invincible and just run. Yeah. True, and I may have to do that in a moment because it looks like I might have got myself stuck. Here they come. Run, Fester, run! I'm not designed to run fast. Run like I'm the weirdo you are. To waddle! Waddle as fast as I can! You hear Toad right. died yesterday? Do you mean the actor who played Toad in the 93 movie? Who? 
Where's the other uh, plant? Hello, handsome. You can help us poor starving plants by grabbing some of the food from the greenhouse. I'll make it worth your while. Feed me. Feed me, see. Here, you overgrown weedy. Doesn't get out of my way. Gee, thanks. I'll move now. You've seen that movie, right, John? Little Shop of Horrors? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's Just been a long sure. time since I've seen it, but yeah. Such a good movie. Are you just going to get to another dead-end bridge? No, this doesn't look like it's a dead-end bridge. Uh, huh. But you came from the other side and it was a dead-end, didn't you? That that one to my left and up a bit, that was a dead-end. I couldn't get to the white square there. This one I can now. Uh, but again, I'm wondering if I should actually go get the cookies first. And get the extra health extension for dropping off the rattle. Probably. I mean, you're not that far out of the way at this point. Well, you did just respawn all the enemies in the area. I tragically did do that. But I think these were just the Chompy Boys, and those aren't nearly as bad. It's the Hornets that have been causing me the most problems. Yeah, I think it's like go down and then go to the right. Oh, that's a lot of Hornets. I would cookie if I were you. <laughs> I'm just gonna but run and hope not the backseat. Yeah. Oh wait, this is Oop, an invisibility. A. Yeah, it's invisibility. I'm fine. Aha! Kill him. By the power of a. Now nah, let's get out of here. This thing is not gonna last long enough to kill these guys. They're still annoying to hit, regardless. Watch out. Yeah. So what path did I take? Because it definitely wasn't down. There it is. Nope. No, oh, left. That's not it. Left is. Yeah. Oh. See, here's the problem. All these directions we've gone in is just this one square. Oh. So the map's yeah, not gross. completely readable because of that. It is very annoying. It takes, I think, a fade in and fade out to go to a new square. Well, Shit. Poo. Oh boy. Allison's here? Could we drop a cookie, please? Or a skull? Nope, no, of course not. Of course not. Keep wilding, Fester. Go, buddy, go. Ah, shit. Use those legs. Uh, yeah, punch. Your legs there. Ah, oh, one of them was a full oh. heal, hell yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're in Who's trouble done? now, Hornets. Oh, yeah. Fester time. Ah! Okay, now you're in less trouble, but we'll be fine. Where is the fucking way out? It said right is where I need to go, but I have not found a way to go right yet. But I remember being in this room because I saw those A's before. I'm trying to remember how you got here. Yeah, I'm not even sure at this point anymore. I am definitely going in a loop at this point. Okay, so, yep, Thanks. I have absolutely gone in a loop at this point. So, it was... Let's go back down. Down there, yeah. I think right from here. It must have been a, a stairwell. But stairwells are usually marked with the arrows. Hmm. I think it was down from here? I tried to go down here before and it did not work. There's two different ups. Uh, let's try the other up, I guess. Let's see what's up. And they both seem no, like the same area. Here. Yeah. That's the cave that just leads you to the plant slash bridge. Is it? Mm-hmm. 
Yep. We might as well do the bridge now since we're lost. <laughs> we're lost. Let's get even more lost. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm like in the right spot. Where the fuck is the entrance I need? Game, I'm going to contest that if I can't hit them, they shouldn't be able to hit me. No, that would be fair. Contact damage wise, I mean. Again, that would be fair. I'll try the other one of those in case that actually is the way down. Nope. Uh, I genuinely do not know how to get out of this area. <laughs> go. Hmm. Lost Woods, let's go, baby. I've been in the same four square pattern for a bit now. And any major move might just respawn all the enemies in the area. Yeah. I mean, a major move, would, other than going across that bridge, would be positive. Yeah, cool, Bond. We might need a map. I think we're, we're getting a little lost here now. Do you want me to go search it up? There's definitely maps for this game out there. Yeah, I'd say you want me to go search one up. I'm sure if you want to. Yeah, cool, Bond's already on it, too, probably. So. Okay. It's going to be some stairwell we just walk past every fucking time. It's just going to be something that simple in the grand scheme of things. Because, there, again, there's the door we used to get in here. Right. And I suppose going north from this room isn't an option. No. Mm. Lester yeah. leaves to save his family. He gets lost in four squares for the rest of his life. Oh my god, that's what it feels like right now. I can see this being an episode. full of bees. Thank you, Trojan. What do we got? That is less helpful than I expected, though. Okay. This might just be a zone I can get. No, that doesn't make any sense, though. How did I get in here? I had to feed that plant to get in here. Or to get out of here, rather. Right. But you didn't have to feed a plant to get in here. You came here from the last time you met Grandma. Yeah. Which it was is. a left. Which means there's some right we're missing here. The map, sadly, does not mark off exits and entrances. Oh. This is, I believe, Western Forest is, I think, what I was sent, yeah. Yeah, I only see two exits on this. Here, just to bring up what we're talking about for other people to see what we're talking about. This is the map I got sent from VG Maps. Uh, the only exits I see are this one up here, which we had to unlock, and this one here, which is what we had to unlock. So, there's some way out of this zone... Yes. Is that there we... one by that bush on the bottom right? Right there? See how the there's a 90 degree pivot in the dirt? Maybe? Problem is that's the B zone. That's the B zone, yeah. <sighs> yeah, but... I mean... You couldn't have gotten... You found anything else. True Lad yeah. Andy, thank you so much for the raid. Do I not have that on the screen? I do. There we go. Ah! Genuinely, I don't 
see where the fuck I have to go. Looking for it. I'm pretty sure it was just a walk off screen to the right to get out of here situation, but... So, if you lose... Motherfucker! Oh my god. Ah! There Pixel it is. Pixel crawl. Pixel crawl. Yep, there we go. You just had to walk to the right. Yeah, I had to walk through that specifically tiny gap. I just walked to the right forehead. I mean, to be fair, we walked in here so we should have remembered that, but like, yeah, like, look at how fucking small this gap is. Yeah. And well hidden. Very yeah. well hidden, which is why we were looping around for so long. Granny with the invincibility cookies is up here. I wonder if she restocks them all. Hey, Granny. Oh, and Fweep's here, too, for some reason. Rambo, is Morticia back at start? You like some more cookies? You want cookie? I have cookie! Hello, Twistle Crone, cough cough. Ooh, you silver tongue charmer. We need something to make someone smaller. Have you tried a chainsaw? Gone through this once with Fester. Cough, cough. Or a flamethrower? How about dynamite? Fweep, you atoms are all the same. Hold on a minute. I did make a potion for Fester's Uncle Fritz once. Yeah, Fatty Fritz. He wanted to lose a few pounds, but it shrunk him to the size of a mouse. Once voted the most gross person ever, Uncle Fritz accidentally took one of Granny's slimming potions and became Fritz the Rake practically overnight. I'll need a while to concoct a slimming potion. Meet me later at the swamps east of here. Bye-bye, Fester. And you too, you handsome devil. Well, that strange old crone is making the potion, let's go look for my voice. I think the hoarders may have it. They are a band of ruffians who live at the end of the bridge west of here. Okay, so she's gonna be to the east, and he wants me to go to the west. Hmm. Doing all right, Rex Nader, how about you? Very low energy today. I'm gonna go back to start and see if Morticia's just chilling there. Probably not gonna get that lucky, but. Mm. Oh, Maybe wait, fair. what's a cookie situation? Hmm? What's a cookie situation? Oh, right, I didn't even check. Uh, both. Okay, so we're good there. Okay. And I don't know when this happened, but our marbles and rocks all got restocked. All right. Ah. Maybe Grandma does rock... Wait, when did we use them? We haven't used them. But we never filled up the meters either. Mmm. Mmm, tracking. Maybe Grandma did it? Shit. That was convenient. Crafted little bugger dodge, you're pretty good. I guess you were ambushed. Doing well, just job searching and chilling. Well, hoping for some good luck for you, Rexnator. Mm hmm. All right. It's empty. Morticia, do you happen to be just chilling out here again? That would be very convenient if you were. Morticia. I'm gonna say that's a no then. Darn. Well, poop. All right, so let's see here. We have not gone to that whole right side of the map, so that might be where we go next. That 
might as well be our next check. Let us go and find uh, the adventure. I thought that was a screen transition for a second. Me too. Oh, I'm not even on the part I need to be going right to. Oops. Well, well, actually, hang on. Let me check up here first. Maybe someone's actually over here now. Do you want to know where Dungeon 2 is since you mentioned you haven't found it yet? I'll keep looking right now, but I'm going to assume it's over that way on the map. Hi. We shall find it with our big brains. So speak for yourself. I don't have a big brain. Not oh, sure you do. I have no, a jar. Mine is what? small and smooth, like a cue ball. <laughs> like egg. Like egg. You are like egg, Frank. I am egghead. They call me egghead because brain like egg. Small, smooth, white, useless. Morticia is on top of the stone wall in the graveyard, which we haven't been to the graveyard officially yet either. I disagree. Oh, yep, that looks like a graveyard to me. I would uh, be uh, inclined to agree. I was wrong. <laughs> I would uh, be inclined to agree anyways. That, that's the show graveyard, you know, the, so they have something to talk about with the guests. The actual graveyard is, I have no idea. Likely up I mean, here, because this should be a dead end this is leading me into. Yeah, now you're going to a skeleton land? That's got to be a graveyard. Oh, yep, yeah, that's yeah, a graveyard. Ah, yep. uh, that's I... a, that's, yeah, yeah. Wait, you've been here, it's the Warrens and something or else. I've seen that name come up already. What? You haven't been here here, but you've been to this map before. Oh yeah, because that's this is the starting map. Hmm. <laughs> read that out. Under here lies old Rab Walker, who had a name for being a talker until one day he swallowed a moth and choked and choked and coughed and coughed. He didn't take well to this change of diet. Now Lady Luck, how Lady Luck favors the quiet. You just passed the wall a screen ago. Shit. All right. Well then I'll go back then. Ooh, I better go back now. Why are the eye bats here? No. Okay, Careful, didn't expect bud. that skull to get two hits on me. Yeah, boy. People die when they are killed. Be careful. I mean, I could see that being the wall there. I'm not seeing a Morticia, but... but... Yeah, I don't see Morticia here. Uh... Chat, you... did we get one guide by chat? Yeah, now he might have posted that a while ago. There's a staircase around here somewhere, too. Damn it! There's this wild again. It's yeah, I, I, got, I gotta eat the cookie. Yeah. I was holding off because Morticia's gonna be a full heal if I get a health extension, so. To the left screen? farther back from once we came? Okay, so it's not the graveyard. It is one of the graveyard areas. So here, I guess. Huh. I mean, there are stairs here. There are a lot of stairs, to be fair. Okay, 
Okay, we know that path's blocked because we already tried doing that before. Right. I'm sorry, my computer's not like Twitch, so I am behind. No worries. I've been there. I feel like I am on the wrong path now, though. Because... Yeah, this is a dead end again. I don't know, but is this uh she doesn't show up until you finish this part of the quest thing? They all have predetermined spots they're supposed to be in based on what you've done in the game, as far as I am aware of at least, so... Is it possible you haven't done the thing, Russ? Like he's saying, you haven't done the thing you needed for Morticia. Maybe. I know. Is there a way to get south from here? Holy shit, hello child, like... hello striker. Or strike razor, rather. Um, we've been in that south area before, it's just full of monsters. Okay. I just saw things on the other side of the tree, and I was like, hmm, maybe. At this point, I might as well just go to the graveyard and check that area out, because I feel like we've checked everything else around here that we can. As well. I will uh, be right back. Go for it. Okie dokie. Let's see. Oh, this does still lead. Eh. Where does this lead me, though? To the stairs. Back plus. to the forest and swamps. I'm starting to think that this place doesn't have the best topology. What would give you that idea? <laughs> hmm. Let's let's put a pin in this one. Let's go to the graveyard first. Let's keep this one yeah. in mind. Return to the greenhouse area. Keep walking left on the way. You'll run into Morticia. Ooh. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, come on, game. I guess that's... Thank you. Well worth our time. All right. Keep doing it. But I feel like we already went left. That's where we were. Alright, let's just look around here then. Let's see what we got. Okie dokie. Okay, spooky um, ghosts. Spooky ghosts. Bats. Bats you can't hit until they land, because why not? Spooky music. One-eyed spider. Strobia, guardian of the graveyard. Can't wait to kick his butt. I'm sure the graves all say different stuff, but I'm, you know, trying not to get killed. Jiggy is raiding. Oh my god, these things. Hey, Jiggy. We're great, Robin. Well, I'm trying also not to get killed by these damn bats. Ah! Unknown. Sad. Grievous ends await you all who bang your heads against a wall. Just ask, Luth just ask Luther Bone who lies here beneath this stone. So did he like do it on purpose or? He was literally beating his head against a wall. Ah. Now in this area, I don't blame him. All right, let's run some counter measures for Jiggy. All right, general yelling for about three seconds like you're about to do a powerful attack. Think anime.
Hopefully that works. Damn it. Jiggy, thank you for the raid. Hopefully your stream was good, my dude. Whoever made this one, you're amazing. Well, good news, they're in the call right now. Where? Oh, right, me. <laughs> Draco made it. <laughs> uh, with apologies to uh, Northern Europe, I believe that's where it landed. Yeah, pretty problematic for that part. Phil Trelford, this is his grave. He cut himself while having a shave. Silly fool didn't know first aid. Now look here at the price he paid. Remember your first aid training, kids. It'll shave. shave. You know, shave your life someday. It'll shave your life. Perfect. Unknown. I think some of these are probably uh -huh. dev names or just joke names, yeah. John May got sick one day. The next day he seemed okay. Third day he in, he looked quite ill. It was this day he wrote his will. And good job, too, is what I say. For on the next morn he passed away. Uh, where is he now? I see you wonder. He's beneath your feet, six feet under. Good to know. John Hackleton, what a cad. Some would say he was quite sad. That is why he passed away, or rumor has it anyway. Bad face. Quippy headstones are a lost art. Well, if any game was going to be able to do it or any property, it'd be the Adams family. That's an unknown. I think I did the next one as well. Yep, banging head against the wall. Beneath this stone lies Gary Bracey. He wound up here for being too lazy. So, oh, player, don't be a hog. Put down your joystick and go for a jog. Okay. Well, we're not using a joystick. We're using a... We're, we're using, a, we're using a SNES controller, yeah. So, yoke's on you, game. I read the Rap Walker one. Yeah, go run, John. Yeah, no, not right now. I'll tell you a tale of nine lives, Ian, who is buried in this mausoleum. Turnbull was his second name, and a life of crime was his game. Nine times he had close shaves, but the tenth one put him in this grave. So ye folk who read this car carving, even if you are cold and starving, don't use crime to get you by. Curious? I'll tell you why. Luck comes in fits and bouts, and one day will run out. This is the grave of Benny Blue, who stole many pots of glue. Many close shaves he nearly had, but Benny was a naughty lad. His erroneous way he did not mend, and thus came to a sticky end. Did he, did he die because he had too much glue? I think he ate too much glue. Unknown. Even the game tells us not to rob a bank. Well, you know what? They're right, <laughs> but... In this grave lies young Fred Jones, once had flesh, now just bones. Oh, that's all that one was, okay. Yeah, he didn't have the budget for a full rhyme. Unknown. That's what we already read. Have we read them all? I think maybe. Below this tomb is the graveyard poet. He couldn't rhyme, but didn't know it. Until the time he fell down a grate, and by that time he couldn't do anything about it. Ba -dum -ba -ba -dum -dum. Dead! Three frog birdies, end was grim, for someone threw a tomato at him. Now, tomatoes don't hurt when they're in the skin, but this beauty did. It was still in the tin. Ouch. Wait, was he the guy who was writing all these rhymes? Did he write his own tombstone, and that's why it didn't rhyme when it finished? Might have been. Ow. Oh, he was one of the ghosts. Oh, okay, I get it. All right, well, can't do anything here right now by looks. Ghost Rider. Ah. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. When you're done reading graves, I've found where Morticia actually is. Sure. Where where's she at, Rambo? Is it the advice that someone said earlier about past the past the greenhouse? Because again, that didn't seem right either. We should have seen her. Where's here lies Andy, pepperoni and cheese? Eh, I'm surprised I didn't go for that bit either. While Rambo's writing that out, let's check. Let's check what's in this stairwell this way. Okie dokie. If 
feel like we've been in this area already, but it's hard to tell because all this shit kind of looks similar. We got a down path and we got a right path. Let's see. Yep, yep, yep. Remember the tiny gap you took to get out of the loop? She is to the right of that screen on a high wall. Okay, so she is, in fact, by the greenhouse. Okay. Okie dokie. This... No, it's not. It couldn't be. No, we're on the wrong side of the map. Well, I... See, the thing is, I'm not 100% sure that matters. Uh, eh, touche. Let's try this one. This should be a cave. I'm guessing we haven't found Morticia from the fact that your life is still short. We have, maybe. Well, we found this room. <laughs> it's not very helpful. Bye. But we found it. This is Dungeon 1 again. Darn. Yo, Romano, how you doing? All right, so we got... Yeah, we're over on the, the right side of the map here now. We're checking out forests and swamps in this little corner. Gotcha, gotcha. Because now we're supposed to find Gomez at some point. I'm pretty sure he's the one with the passwords. But it might, like I said, it might be wrong and it might be it. Maybe it's even Lurch for all I know. There is an NPC nice. who gives you a password. It's not thing. I mean, things technically in my pause menu. Oh yeah, so he is. Here lies Proton John. He had an amazing job, even though all his bits were about tits. Thus ends all of it. Wow. Man, it's like not even my. The tits aren't even my thing. That's just the funny thing. It just got stuck to me. So you're saying the tits just got stuck on you? Yeah. They just happened. They just happened to grow there, I guess. Come on. None of them dropped a health bill. Damn. Nope. Well, tough titties. God damn it. Ba -dum -ba -ba -dum -ba -dum. There we go, finally. Hey. All those, and we got one. <laughs> Look, they gotta distribute the skulls evenly. There's not enough to go around. Cartoxin, you can't grow them, but you can raise them from eggs. <laughs> hmm. Fester Adams has been gifted a sub. Here now. As they should. Should have known there'd be a Fester Adams account. Funny part about it is it belongs to Christopher Lloyd. <laughs> I see. Oh. He's doing his best to centipede you. Sure is. Oh no, another one of you? More plants. Please, the food. I'm starving. Here you go. Have some of this Dr. Jive special plant food. Mmm, potassium and fish droppings are my favorite. Are you sure you don't want some? I only eat fish droppings with ketchup. Would you like some of these seeds? Sure. Here you go. If you get into a tight spot, just throw them around. They may just save your life one day. I now have some magical seeds. Come back anytime. I have plenty. Yay! Do -do 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 -do. Talk to him, make sure, well, see if your bar's full? Yeah, hey, bar's, bar's full. full. Do we know what half your projectiles do? Nope. I mean, you throw them. 
Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Anytime. Oh, Gomez, there you are. Ah, Fester, I believe the children have found something, a clue, perhaps. I would suggest you go find them. Oh, I can't go this way. Gomez has okay. decided no. So he's just a hint system? No, he's a no Mez right now. Oh my god. Jenny says, hey John, why would you put the birth name of a trans person on a tombstone to bury a dead name? Womp womp. Alright, let's try the sub weapons we have. Small rocks. Ah. Blue that marbles. Sure was. Ha! Magical seeds. Oh. Huh? Oh, homing. Interesting. I, I mean, other than being entirely rock, safe, I have no idea why you would ever want that. Looks like they just attack a random target. Interesting. Oh. Oh, I wonder if they still work on the bees while they're flying. Maybe. That'd be hilariously, absurdly nonsensical, but you know what? I would put past the game. You do have to pause ever so slightly, so there is, you know, that downside. Oh, yeah. Hold on, bees. I need to stand completely still for just a second. I need to show you my... Plant I seeds! Oh, there's another plant up there, it looks like it. You'd also have to probably do like two or three to kill him. We don't even know how much damage it does, really. Mm, that's true. But that's oh, what these tests are for! The areas are bigger than I think every time. I love how we wandered off to go find Mortician, never went back to that single screen. No. Rightfully so, but still. I mean, I, mean, I figure we haven't looked in this area at all. We might as well. Yeah. And we found the person we were looking for. Too bad he didn't do the thing we thought he'd do. Does he move, or is he, is he always on that bridge that requires you to finish the first dungeon? I mean, that could be a case where he's, that's just like, he's in multiple spots, that just happens to be where he is to stop you from moving towards whatever ah, okay. that is. Maybe. Well, well that was a fun. very useless bridge. I smell a plot spot. Or maybe it doesn't do anything, I don't know. We'll find out. Someday. Someday. Ooh, swamp things. Yay, easy targets. Free health. I hope they aren't endangered. Uh, well, if they are endangered, they shouldn't have been anywhere near faster. Fortunate, but true. Well, that was a fun loop. <laughs> Yay! So far, there has been absolutely nothing here. Yeah, this area's kind of sucked. <laughs> eh, I'm sure there has to be something here, or else they wouldn't have put it. I don't know. Ocean, not necessarily known for their great... That, you know what? That's true. That, that <laughs> right there. I was going to say. Oh, look. Staircase. Yeah, that's one I think we've taken before. I think that's how we got the greenhouse key. Mm. I'm, in fact, very sure that was where the greenhouse key was. Ooh. Damn it. Darn it. Got him. There's not much room here joke to be made, but I'm not 100% sure how to word it. <laughs> yeah, wiggle around a bit. You'll, you'll get it to fit. Alright. Let's see. You look like a fun guy, but there's not much room to be here. No. Yes! 
I think we've actually really looked around yep. this area. I think that's basically everything. We, yeah, and that leads back, I assume, to the cave we were in. We can't go up because that's blocked by Gomez. So yeah, we're done in this area. Good work, team. Granny is supposed to be in here at some point, but I don't think enough time has passed. I think I have to fix P uh, Squeaker's voice or whatever the fuck his name is. Sweet. P PB. Not Hubert. You talking Fweep? Yeah. Yeah, not Hubert. He's to the west because he wants us to go down into the hoarders area. Right. But we need to give a rattle to the lady so we can have more health and more lightning. Oh, now here's the fun part. I gotta remember how to get out of this spot. Carefully. Ooh. That should be it. Bingo! Hey, freedom! Okay, I remember you're here this time. Aha! Well, me one, shame on you. I feel like at Only some point I'm gonna have to fight these things. Me again. That was look very armo statue, yeah. Here's the greenhouse. What did Rambo say? It was one screen. Was it this screen or was it this screen? Uh, shoot. <laughs> I don't mean to alarm you, but I think uh, a dog and a duck got loose in your house, John. And that just happens. Oh no. Is there a zapper? Actually, you know what? I think I actually do mean to alarm you. Uh oh. That's the point of it. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Been alarmed. What are we gonna do? I mean, this is the only wall. What was what, chat? I don't know what you're talking about. Remember the tiny gap you took to get out of the loop? She's to the right of that screen on a high wall. It would be the screen here, this one on the left. Yeah, but she's definitely not here. Where's Rachel? Yeah, I'm not sure if she's around here. Well, actually, I'm not sure if she's around here somewhere. She could have the flag ready. She must be at some different location, I guess, but I have no flipping clue where. Oh, there's a well. Hey! Let's jump down it. For one, I give many. Do you have a coin? Uh, you oh. have a rock. Yeah. Throw a rock in, see what happens. Nope. Try a seed? Well, Those tried. seem to be lobbed. Nope. Huh? Okay. okay. You have to do it from like above or something. Dry, dry oasis, thank you for the raid. Grandma, are you still here to give me cookies? No, you're not even here either. Uh-oh. This is problematic. That is very problematic. 
Okay. So we don't know where Morticia is to get our health extension. We don't know... We don't know a lot of things. Grandma's gone. I think I found Morticia's location in GameFAQs. I don't know if we're at the right spot in the story. We probably are not. I mean, she's at a previous, like, a different location than in that case. Uh, Go back to Eastern Swamp. I think she's there now. That's where we just were, though. I think that's Granny. For cookies. That's right. That's for Granny. Uh, yeah. How about we just, um... Well, uh, time went off, so we're gonna go to break here in a minute. But, right. uh, how about we just get set up to go to the Hoarders area? Once I remember where the fuck that was. Right. Okay. So we gotta go in that corner. With the Queen Hoarder defeated, a warp tile presents itself. You find Fweep on the other side. Da, 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 da. Okay, so that's after the Hoarder. Yeah. This is the Morticia thing. Okay. Yep. So we can't even do any of that. So we have no idea where the fuck she is currently. Unless the guide says earlier. Damn it. I don't know that she is anywhere currently. The actor might not even be out. Hmm. Like the actual actor? No. There's talking in Zelda and PC terms. Yeah. No, no, I know what they meant. I just, yeah. Ah, my bad. I meant like, we, we, we didn't, I mean, you didn't get the appearance rights, all that jazz. Yeah, exactly. Very expensive. We could only afford Very to be during certain, certain cutscenes. Anything more than that, and well, we just wouldn't have enough funds to make those funny headstones. Okay, so I need that cave path up there, but I'm ducking down here because these A's should be back now. Hey. Waddle, Festa, waddle. you. Everyone commenting, like, oh, this is such an old, odd Link to the Past ROM hack. I mean, it works. I'm surprised I don't have Fester playable in any, like, Link to the Past randomizers with just this sprite. Uh, I think I have to go left one more. Right, because I have to go down this weird-ass path. Because this is where we kept, we opened these guys for the first time. Ah, memories. Ah, memories of probably like 45 minutes ago. Look, I'll take what I can get. Yo, Angels, how you doing? This should be the path to the hoarders. Members only. Yeah. Now, this bridge wasn't finished when I was here last time. And it's still not. Hello again, That's Fester. Right. <laughs> you can enter the cavern below. We must jump off the bridge. Me? Jump down there? You must have mistaken me for an idiot. You don't trust me, do you? Nothing personal. It's hereditary. We Adams don't trust. Not even your own family? Especially my own family. Okay, I'll go first and you can follow me. We cut scene. Thud. Hmm, Fweep seems to have wandered off. Peace at last. We are in Dungeon 3. We missed Dungeon 2. <laughs> Yay! All right. Hope we is... didn't need anything. Hope not. Well, this is a good chance to take a break either way. Yes. In pain, work was rough today. Well, here's hoping for some good stuff for you. Hopefully things will go better for you. All right, let's drop some eggs. Nalz Gafrach for 61, Mech Era Knight for 54, Seasaur 24 for 79, 
sap motherfucker. <laughs> Uh, TVG Hunter for 87. Ice Bez for 28. Sammy Wise for 80. Arcos 18 for 2. Oh, congrats on the promotion. Malice 55 for 116. And Anonymous gives that sub to Fester Adams. Thanks for subbing and hanging out tonight, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the Shuffler. You will give me an oh, yes. Going to break when we come back. Art Block and more Adams Family Values. See you guys in a bit. Woo, bye bye. Hey. Well, bye bye from John. Hi from us. Goodbye. Wait, oh, darn it. <laughs> What's going on, chat? We're here to let John stretch his legs. Ah. And definitely not ins inside any, you know, insurrections or mutinies oh, no, or anything no, like that. No, no, no. Why would anyone think about who wants the raw Fort Knox? Any, any volunteers? Also, that call, that call, <laughs> that call thing is wrong, but, uh, yeah. I mean, you're clearly meds. I mean, come on, yeah. Yeah, definitely totally. meds, and you're Cole. Yes, totally. I hear, I hear you're a big fan of Bowser. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I love his, uh, uh, horn, his singular horn. But he is, too. Darn it, I've been exposed. Actually, did spikes on the back? No, those are spikes, not horns. Anyway, I'm still exposed, bye. Bye. All right, now it's just me. I've chased him off. Ha ha! I stand here alone at the top of the mountain. I'm still here. Don't let him know. Anyways, Good. how's chat doing? How are you guys enjoying Adam's family and getting lost in various creepy places? I, for one, cannot tell where I am. This is not good for my potential career as not being lost. But you know what? We all got to start somewhere. You make a career out of not being lost? Interesting. I, I, I mean, eventually, you know, long term. Right now, I'm still in the lost section. Eventually, I'll get to not lost. But until I can figure out which one of those stars is the North Star, I think, you know, I'm a little, little, uh, little hose. But that's where everybody starts, at the bottom. Oh, th that's they easy. Just look to the North. To Ah, thank you. Yeah, see, I've been working on that. I keep on getting north screwed up with east. It gets very weird. But, you know, just, you know, it's just, it's just practice. Practice makes perfect. Fair enough. Kurt Toxin, to answer your question, it depends. My favorite answer that's not an answer. Um, winter, probably hot chocolate. Anytime where it's not cold outside, probably chocolate milk. That said, mildly lactose intolerant. But that's not my problem. That's my wife's problem. Yay? Question mark? Uh, let's see. Uh, can I just, like, do milk? Even if the hot chocolate, chocolate doesn't call for milk, you put milk in it anyways. Can That's I have the right milk call. chocolate instead of chocolate milk? Depends. Is it good chocolate? Or is it, like, Godiva. Hershey's Vomit? I'm thinking Godiva. Alright, acceptable. Okay. Like, I, I haven't gone around the world and tasted all the chocolates of the world yet, so unfortunately, I, I do have to have the fancy... Demo Katamaru, it's not worth it. Lactose-free milk is significantly more expensive and doesn't taste as good. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's worth the minogastrointestinal distress to get water the, like, real water stuff. Water, 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 and water, and water, 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 oh, shoot. And water, oh, right. Water, 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 and what? water, 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 no. It's fine. You can clean it up. Later. I'm drowning. Back it up. Okay. Oh, okay. I mean, you don't have to. I mean, if you want to drown, I won't stop you. But at the same time, I don't recommend it because it's a lot of water. We still have to figure. We still have to mop up later, and you know, I'd, I'd rather you. I don't know CPR well enough to get you back up and running, so... BSG James, don't think I don't see you there. I see both that pandering and you bringing Leviathan into this. Get uh -oh. that garbage-ass song out of this fucking stream. Oh, dear. I see you there. I see you trying to poison my brain. Excellent. Keep up the good work. Orange milk? Mm, 
Isn't that just orange juice? Or is it milk you colored orange? What would that? Yeah, yes, the Leviathan right. quote is a is a Final Fantasy XIV thing. Very nice. Never play fourteen. Good I stuff. I have a friend yeah. who are like really into it, but I'm just like, do I have enough time and dedication to do this? Oh God, no! No I one don't does. I think I do. Like, on the one hand, it'd be nice to play with people and like get everybody together. Oh boy, I'd love to fight Kafka, but then at the same time, I'm also like, I don't want to right now. I have a lot of things I should be doing instead. But I suppose that's how you, they get you. Oh, there's also the minor monthly fee that I'm. Uh, Currently not in possession of, so we will burn that bridge at a later time. If you're not into MMORPGs, you can play, argu uh, actually, unarguably, objectively, the best Final Fantasy game to exist, Final Fantasy VI, for the Super Nintendo. Oh Don't at me, I'm right. Hmm, I'm gonna at you. To agree with you, I mean. But, okay. uh... Well, well, yeah, no, like, uh... Yeah, no, it's kind of hard to argue with six. D Deep, get out of here. Oh, dear. Oh, no, you've been added. Get down. Yes, Kratoxen, probably. Channel? Hello? Uh-oh. Uh no, get out of here, I said. Get! Oh, oh boy, oh, boy, I'm gonna get a get! fight. Or not. I'm cool with that. Oh, <laughs> there he goes. You scared uh -huh. him off, Rush. Why would you do that? Because he added me, and I told him not to. Okay, fine. Are you sure? He knew the rules, and so did I. Say goodbye. Bad face. Okay, well, I guess... I guess he added you, and then he stopped, so... Do I start the fight now? I really wanted a fight. Hi, Wang Raid. Hello, Hi, Wang. Hi, Wang. Well Welcome, aboard. welcome, welcome. We are on break temporarily, but John should be back shortly to run countermeasures. Hooray. The cult is over. Oh boy, what game? Oh, cult dear. of the Lamb? What do we got? What horrible or is it P3? abominations were made today? Will we ever know? Or will it be a mystery for the end of time? Oh, Cult, Cult of the Lamb. Lamb. There it is. Very nice. Cut it short. Eh, that's fair. I can totally get that high wing. I really enjoyed the builder aspect of that, but the combat, I just couldn't. It wasn't fluid enough for what it needed to be. That's fair. That's fair. Nonetheless, do not get me wrong, great game. Very good update. Very nice. But yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm just pretending like I know what I'm doing until John shows up, so... Oh, D for get joke? Boo! Uh, Even I'm not gonna go for that one. Boo! Oh, sorry, Deef. Didn't mean to overwhelm you. That was probably the stream plus us. Okay. But that's okay. Break the economy by making babies that poop gold and just subsist on a baby economy. Okay, hold on a second. Now you're speaking my language. The children, they yearn for the mines. I see. Deep, get out of here. Stop trying to push that on me. Haha, uh -huh, I get it. Chat, for those of you who don't realize, Deep is at. Deep is pinging me in Discord. Making terrible get based jokes. I can see that. I wonder where he gets it from. Yeah. 
Did I? Did I make a joke, Deep? I would never. Uh, don't make me blame you for this, because I will. You gotta, you gotta build up to these kind of puns, you know what I mean? Yay! Anyway. I thought it would be building. Got him. Yeah, because anybody who uses Get Blame is, and actually uses it for its intended purpose is a horrible human being. Get Blame is for finding out who checks something in so you can privately DM them and say, hey, what the hell? Oh boy, all of your secrets will be What would a, wait, would a wingless fly be called a walk? No, it'd be called a fall. Unless we have some other means of propulsion. I'd call it annoying, personally. Oh, these are too deep. My bad. Oh. I think mean, we can still answer it. I mean, you know, ask questions, get answers. All that. I mean, I'll I'll usually use the who to go, you know, bug the person and be like, rah, 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 What did you code here, and why is it dumb like this? Oh, God. Chat, you're on point tonight. Yeah, yeah. Well, basically, what Nagi said. That, that's the non. That's the good way to use it. The appropriate way to use it. The the friendly way to use it. Not the way I use it. That's the the what is it? Uh, lawful good way of using it. Rush uses chaotic neutral, I would say. <laughs> He's get blame and only find yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's always a fun one. Who wrote this crap? Get blame. Oh no, it was me and I don't remember. Oh no, I'm the idiot. Oh no, it was me. I'm the moron. All along. Well, at least you both admit it. No. Okay, never mind. No, it's hey, just in rush. the it's it just in the long. logs. I'll rush, yeah. And I can't squash it. Also, um, because you're back, High Wang raid. Oh, so high say Wang, hi to High Wang. Hi, High Wang. Thank you for the raid. Here, let me get Guapo back their points first. <laughs> hmm? Oh, already done. Oh, you already did that? Perfect. I'm pretty sure. It said thank you, so I'm assuming that's... Ah... We did it, team. We did our jobs. Well, Rush did. I was just kind of here. I mean, I'm doing multiple jobs right now. See? Look at a multitask. What are you going to do? I realized I forgot to enter a bunch of Jira, so I'm handling that right now. Okay. Well, let me buy you some more time. Through vibe. Thank you so much for the raid. Hopefully your stream was good, my dude. We just got back from break. We're gonna do some alerts, then we're gonna go to Art Block, and we're gonna continue playing Adam's Family Values. Will Peter says, he said damn, so get your helping damn and ass back in that damn room. What damn? I was just trying to help you out. Evil J. Brian says, I already read this one out. This was the Wednesday, Friday thing. 
Well, Peters, hypothetically, city pays you to live in it, same conditions, but said city consistently gets tsunamis. But the city does not take damage from tsunamis because the defense against those tsunamis is a giant wall blocking your sea view. Would you take it? So would I live in a fort? <laughs> For five I mean, million dollars or five billion dollars? So, problem. for five billion dollars, you live someplace that gets tsunamis, but is under absolutely no threat. So long as there's not the warning sirens to wake me up in the middle of the night. I mean, you don't get like, to see the sea either. You're literally surrounded by like giant walls. Eh. For five billion dollars for, for one year, I guess. Five billion dollars yeah. for a year? Hell yeah! Should I do a lot worse for a lot less in any given year? Touche. Fun Quantum Facts 2 says, An increasingly well-known aspect of quantum physics is that quantum particles can be in multiple places at once until measured. But even when measured, some experiments have shown that they can be in different places depending on the observer. Interesting. Fun Movie Facts. Little Shop of Horrors is, of course, based on the stage musical by Howard Ashman, but the musical itself is based on the original B-movie by Roger Corman, released in 1960. So it was a movie, then it was a stage musical, then it was another movie. Circle of life. Circle of life. Shining Silver says, For the birthday luck, but instead of taking luck, I want you to store that luck for you for a later date. Much love. Oh, thank you, Silver. Happy birthday. I'll stash away that luck for later. I mean, you know, you I assume know I assume that star means what I think it does, so I will stash it. All right. Uh, art block. Let's go to art block. Hooray! That's the wrong window. That's Hooray! The right window. There we go. Got it. We're good. We're good. We're good. From Crytoxin, have an actual year of the dragon mouse, the costume dragon mouse. You know what it means? Gotcha. Next up, this amazing piece. From Camille, Ooh. look at this Holy. goddamn piece. Very hey nice. there, my new resolution for 2024 is to do stuff, so have this commissioned by our local cool and great artist Mika. Link to her socials down below. Once again, thank you Mika for your patience and for your feedback, and I hope you all enjoy this lovely Rosa in her space dress designed by Mika herself. If you want to check out the non-watermarked version, go to that art discord or join with exclamation art discord and chat. Lovely artists there also post their works and you can learn and interact with us. Yes, I'm training to be a commercial. I'll beat Maniacal at that one day. Yeah, no, Camille did this, Mika commissioned it, and it is fucking phenomenal. Hell yeah, super nicely done on this, Camille. Fuck yeah, and Mika, thank you for commissioning it. Very, very nice. Next up, donate two bucks to John to buy Mom Simulator 2023 on sale. It gets noticed on stream and immediately garners attention. Starts off fortune cookie on the same week it was bought, and everyone sees the horrors slash wonders as Mom Simulator 2023 is, and John even clears it. It gets the VOD muted. <laughs> yes, this actually happened. It's only for a few minutes, but it's still funny that it happened because of the game. You know what the weird thing is? It also got the VOD claimed on YouTube, but so did Persona 3. So it wouldn't have mattered on YouTube. But it did mute the, the Twitch VOD, apparently. Oh, boy. Thank you, no account. It's alright, don't worry about it. That's what local recordings are for. Yay. Booby Growth Potion, Tiger Brew, Splash Damage Edition. What a dodge! Thank god I don't have boobs, otherwise I would not have been able to dodge that. Indeed. From Pluto, beware the tiger who appears to be on a rampage, terrorizing locals with newly created booby growth potions. Ah yes, newly created. Oh, As yeah, if tigers totally didn't have a supply of those for the last few years. I'm surprised I'm that flexible, though. That's impressive. Yay for me. From Yay Skylar. I was meaning to actually complete something on the actual Lunar New Year, but motivations have been non-existent due to learning that after half of a, a month thinking I had one, I don't actually have a job and I got ghosted while trying to get answers. Oh, that sucks. Uh, so sorry, Skylar. Oh, I'm so sorry. I wonder what happened to all of the Banuis after Banui year. Ah, well, here comes Durgan year. And since my two main OCs are drag dragonic halflings, I wanted to do some renders. As you can see, I only managed one. Went for a star theme as well, not only because of Lunar New Year, but because of Kyle's dragon spirit, sp or dragon type, spirit weaver. Not sure if this qualifies to being here, but if it doesn't, uh, worse that'll happen is a removal. It's cute, though. Thank you, Skyler. 
Happy Year of the Dragon, everybody. And sorry for the bad luck with the job. Here's hoping that gets something works out for you there. From Celebi Sons, given the whole conversation about John passing chat's tendencies onto another community if he ever retired, I knew what had to be done. The gift of chat's insanity, some unsuspecting streamer. Oh god. Again, I don't think I could retire just to make sure you guys don't do this to another streamer. Yay! Don't try to deny it, John! Jesus. Let the streaming world fear our wrath. And our bizarre questions and various other antics. It's the boobs, mainly. It's the boobs. From Ryuga Knight, late for Rosa's birthday? I prefer fashionably late. Here we have in, in the, it, the final form to the Common Rider John figures I've been working on. And after waiting for some parts to come in, reason why it's late, I give you Common Rider Ro Proton Big Bang Galaxy form. In my weird little fan ficky narrative for this story, the space goddess Rosa gave the last of her power to keep it out of the evil rider Donator's hands. Now armed with ever-expanding powers and a sweet new collapsible staff that becomes a bow, the Crescent Comet Bow, John will do all he can to keep his world safe. Hey. This looks cool as fuck. Hell yeah. That looks right. super fucking rad. Hell yeah. I'm gonna jump ahead here because this is another picture of it. A more cinematic image of the Kamen Rider John BBG form. That's fucking cool. We're already doing it to other streamers, John. This is just the beginning. God damn it. Wait, that means I can retire now. All right, fuck all y'all. I'm out. You work Let's here go. forever. Oh shit, I'm free? Hell yeah. <laughs> oh. Ah, damn. <laughs> Have a nice retirement. Uh, Man, it's here I thought I was getting paid for a short night. You get paid? Don't. Luca. Number three, the Empress. Ring Grease Lightning. Who else could it be for this one? I tried to make this a little warmer, but it feels just brighter. Oh well, sometimes you just end up with some spots that aren't to your liking. The other thing is that this was supposed to be Rosa, but it ended up drawing Luca instead. How? I don't know. The Empress represents wisdom and benevolence, as well as nurturing others and the self. Without a doubt, she is the person brimming with those aspects, and like a good Empress, she commands a great deal of respect and has earned it. This is an interesting card to post tonight for being the honorary girl talk. Please, there's always honorary girl talk. That's not any different. I do love this little Prince Bagel, though. This is cute as fuck. Oh, that little guy. This is super nicely done. I like it. Okay. And, and Luca is a really good fit for Empress. I don't know what her actual card is, what she considers her card, but this is a good fit. Thank you, Chris. Sander, what the fuck? The viewers have given John boobs. John is a free streamer. I don't think that's how that works. Also, I don't think that's how this works either. So what were you saying about your recording career? I, I, hey, wait a minute. You don't have a license. Yeah, and? From Pluto. Love when streams turn into a group therapy session. Okay, not group therapy, but more like just hearing your thoughts and reasoning on things. It's fun to poke your brain. I was being a streamer, by the way. It looks like fun chaos, but I'm honestly not sure if I'd fit as one. I'm sort of trying to figure out what I want to do, and I've been told I should be a therapist, but my solution to most any problem would be go touch some boobs, so I don't know how well that'd work out. I don't think that option's gonna work for everyone. Just a heads up on that. Um... I just noticed the source because Pantera pointed it out. Boobies make any problem better. 2.9 million dollars does the same, but I think boobies are more fun as a solution. I mean, if you're asking me, do you, should streamer be like a thing you should plan for as a career? No, because it's not stable. I'm just lucky that I was here at the right time. Also insanely stressful. Yeah, and like that's why we were having like all the talks earlier. So my answer would be, if you luck into it, like do it as a side gig, and if you luck into it, go for it. But like, don't make it be your like be all end all plan unless you have a gigantic following when you do. I just imagine you as Rikio punching the prison walls and yelling, "I, have, you're all free now." Got it. Start an OnlyFans. Will do. Jesus Christ. Last one I have here on Art Block is from Tiger Tiger, and it looks like it's a Rosa Dragon. Happy bladed Shinyan Kuale, pronunciation guy for non Chinese speakers. Shinyan Kuwaila. Damn it. Thought I had it. Kuwaila. 
I originally wanted to get this done in time for Lunar New Year on Saturday, but it ended up taking me longer than expected. Not helped by the fact that it's been a long time since I last drew anything this complex. Anyways, to celebrate the Year of the Dragon, I drew Rosa as a traditional Chinese dragon, aka a long. Also, just to be clear, long in this case is meant to pronounce with a long O, oh, so long. Not like lung, not like the English word long, but like long, L-O-H-N-G, long. So this comes across as nitpicky. While I can forgive people for mispronouncing words from foreign languages they didn't grow up with, it bothers me when people don't even try to say them correctly. Fair enough, gotcha. Thank you, Tiger Tiger. And that is not Art Block. We got one last picture here from Horizon Strider oh, Beefaroo drinking boba tea. Look at Beefaroo doing the no hands bubble tea challenge, although I don't think he has the suction force for that long of a straw. One, were you expecting me to do the booba bubble tea challenge? No. Two, fun fact, this is actually the first time I've drawn Beefaroo that isn't in or part of a dish. I also noticed that. Thank you for leaving the beefy boy intact. Thank you, Horizon. Alright, back to the game. Alright, let's break into a membership club. Woo! Alright, so we're in Dungeon 3, having skipped Dungeon 2. Yay. So let's see how this goes. I suppose yep. the game hasn't stated how we're going to get back, but let's not bother with that right no, now. No, I'm also worried about the fact that we have only one cookie with us. We'll just have to make it work. Okay, well, good news is I do remember this dungeon, as I did at least do this one as a kid. I actually did manage to get the, the fat dude out of the trans uh, tunnel, so. As a kid, I remember doing that. The question is now, will I be able to do it as an adult? Because I think as a kid, I also had more health points. Let's see. Uh, oh. Level two first? Hmm? I've I said, did you have more health points because you did level two first? Probably. <laughs> Probably. I also realized I miss I missed someone's Wisdom of Duke, didn't I? Because we've been alive for a bit and I haven't done a Duke in a while. Yeah, retrograde, 889. Did I do yours? Just kick it out there. Just the in case. It. I feel like I did, yeah. Anybody mind if I take off my pants? Oh shit, DB, sorry, you told me you sent me something on Blue Sky. Let me know about Bisky. Yeah, I'm pretty sure as a kid I remember giving him the Black Rose. I just didn't remember as an adult. Ew. Oh my god, this is actually a longer potion than I expected. Uh, Very bad poem I wrote based on the headstones for you. Yes, I made it in Has Been Hotel or Hell of a Boss related. Here lies Proton John. His passion for games was never wrong. He made order the top shelf, but his cat thought he was an elf, and down his collection had fell. The grave was a cold end to hell now as it has been, though he wasn't that bad his collection Rosa now had, and now he collects games once more. The demon were not that bad, shared hobbies were to be had, a deal or two later and dealt with a hater, and Overlord John was born. His power was the stream, the rivals were pushed off the beam. Despite their attempt, he made sure they came and went, and bigger his audience grew. All right, so I died, went to hell, and then became a, a, an overlord. All right. How does the gravestone know about that part? It's a very progressive gravestone. Uh, okay. And Baku Craft, there we go. Anybody mind if I? Hey, you take just off my did pants? that one. Nope, no, keep those on. Nope. You can swear. I'm gonna kill you till you die from it. He took his pants off again. <laughs> he had other pants underneath the pants, so it was okay. Double. He's pants. got so many layers because he's it's actually cold a never outside. knew this entire time. It's just none of us realized it. No, I cannot see him being on. That, no, not Duke. Not Duke Nukem. All right, that's a teleporter. That's also a teleporter. <laughs> That's concerning. Oh, that's not a teleporter. That's a switch. Oh, but I don't know it's what a that Bhutan. did. Let's see. It doesn't. It sounds mm -hmm. like it did something, but I don't see anything happening. But it makes this. It makes a uh, the noise like when you get on it, and then again when you get off of it. Yeah. Which is the concerning part. Like, 
That makes me think it's a reset switch. Maybe. But the switch itself doesn't pop back up, which is my only concern. Shit. Shit. Where, where's your lack of visible space? Come on. Damn it. Damn it. And no skull either. Ah. We're in the dungeon ah. map right now. All right, right now we're in a dead end, so we're gonna get warped to somewhere. Left or right? Left. Oh boy, pick a path. Conveyor belts wasn't something I expected. Another button. Well. What did it? What? Uh, Maybe I was supposed to kill these guys too? Oh, the bridge is open down oh, here. Okay. That's what happened. Okay, that makes way more sense. Ah, and then we press this button, and then the upper path bridge shows up. Now I get it. Aha! This teleporter. Okay. And now to get fucking lost again. Actually, where did that put us on the map? Okay, so we're on a separate path then for the bottom half of the dungeon now. Press Bhutan. Bhutan did not stay in. Oh, oh no. no. Oh no. That's why that button didn't stay in, because I have to press it three times, one for each path. Uh, let's check the other two paths then before I commit to moving on. Top. Shit. Ghost. Okay, so first one does nothing, it looks like. Let's see what the teleporter takes me. This is... This is a room. Boss room? Explody room. This is a weird-ass room. I'm leaving. They're partying. Oh. Hey, could you kill those things with magic beans? Eh, we're right back where we were. Uh, I can check. I don't know if I want to waste all my beans trying to kill them. Uh, I, you only have to throw one and see if they take damage. True. Bean. It's not doing much damage to them, though. That's 10 and it's still alive. Yeah. And I can't throw to get them with any of the other ones, so. Not worth it. Get the shot. Yeah, show me key. Press it again. Where does that bridge go? Maybe over to the A to get some health back. No. Where does the second bridge go? Or is there really just only the one? Uh, what? I'm confused as all fuck by how this button works. That's the, that's the secret. It doesn't. Right. Whatever. I don't know how to destroy these walls either. Like, I assume I need a specific ability, but I do not seem to have it currently. Huh. Shit. Oof. Maybe the platform cycles further down the path and not on this, this side? That wouldn't make any sense because there's no way to access it. 
Okay, major problem. Well, this is our last cookie. Then it shall be our final stand. Maybe change the teleporter. Oh, that actually might have been the case. Well, it changes something on a different screen. That wouldn't make any sense, because it has to be a specific one to actually get through. Um, fair. Yeah, there's, there was literally no way in or out. Oh, okay. Alright. I mean, if you're just gonna stay there and I can just do this, then by all means. Oh, son of a bitch, of course. Can. Okay, that's All gonna right. be fun. At least that's the seems like uh, all they do is just teleport. I do like to randomly teleport in random directions. Oh, uh, it seems like it's a straight line. A lot worse if it were actually random. Yeah. This also does the bring up the question of why? Uh, left at the top there? Yeah, I know. Oh. I'm just debating something. Because there was another path we could have gone if we had gone back. If we should have done that. Oh, huh? we're here now. Oh, that turned that teleporter back on. Interesting. Okay. What a weird fucking dungeon. Where are we right now? Okay, we're back in this room. Okay. All right. I don't remember this being in the movie. Yeah, I don't think it was, honestly. Maybe it might have been in the director's cut. I don't know. Oh, there's that path I was wondering about, so I guess I don't have to worry about that anymore. This is meant to be a follow-up to the movie? Is it actually? I guess that would make sense. Okay, so that's the teleporter we took. So let's not take it this time. See what we have over here. Another button to press that adds a bridge. Question mark. Ugh, guaranteed hit though. It's got a door and a teleporter. Uh, right is wrong. Is that right? Right is wrong. I'm gonna go back and check that other teleporter, I think. Right, so right is wrong. Three rights make a left. I haven't been here oh, yet. Oh dear. One time. Okay, one button stays down, the other does not. And there's another button there. Federal Portal Agency. We take no responsibility for persons or baggage being misplaced, lost, skinned, burned, or eaten while using this facility. I see. I see we have a teleporter there, we have a button here. 
Oh. Again, don't know what that button does. That still does not stay down. Another bridge there to another teleporter. So we have two teleporter choices. I love blind guessing. Oh boy. Oh boy. Come on. God, your damage going down when you get weaker is really frustrating. According to Moby Games, the evil Debbie J uh, Jelinski is harming the Adams family once again. She has kidnapped baby Pubert, and Uncle Fester is the only one who can f who must find him, or is the one who must find him and br bring him back to his loving family. So she somehow survived uh, being electrocuted to ashes. Yeah, I was gonna say, doesn't she die at the end of the movie? <laughs> Look, we all That's why I was confused things. how this could be a, a sequel. Oh, God damn it. Please. Portals, baby. <laughs> she got better. Fair enough. So she's an Adams family. They did bury her in the Adams graveyard. Ah, shit. That's a good point, actually. Yeah. That'll do. It's struck by lightning in the Adams graveyard. I mean, how many times has Fester uh, escaped death at this point? That is a good point. Um, speaking of escaping death, I probably should not Ooh. have done all that. Cookie? I'm out. Even invincibility yeah. ones? Well, I have the invincibility ones, but that's not going to heal me. Game over. Game over, yeah! Oh, no. Really don't worry, don't. there's a continue option. Okay. Problem is, I don't know where it puts me. Oh. Okay, I've got everything I had when I came here in the first place, so none of my equipment's been wasted. Convenient. Problem is, everything's alive again. All right, from the top. One more time. But at least you know where a few of the dead ends are. But True. So we can save a little bit of time here. Yeah, I never beat this as a kid, not because it was too hard. It's just because it, it's confusing. This isn't like, yeah, like, like Okai says, this isn't like when we played the Flintstones movie game for, for the SNES. It's a case of, like, we didn't keep running out of lives or continues. It's just straight up we just never got to the end. Couldn't figure out which of the dead ends which were the ones we needed for progression this time. Yeah, like I said, the last thing I remember for sure is, like, shrinking the dude in the tunnel. Oh, speaking of... All these walls they want me to blow up, but I can't. So, John, I think I know what the mysterious pressure plate did, if you want my thoughts. Sure, someone, what you got? And fortune timing, it was the little dude got me, or, or the fireball got me. Ah. In a row, really? I disagree with that one. Let's try right. Is that right? Oh, there's a button we never pressed. Which leads us to the exact same spot. Oh, yeah. Oh, so the other one was just a different room. Let's see. The illusion of choice strikes yet again. So should I keep pressing this to see if this leads to other spots? What do you think? I mean, I like buttons. Well, we know where one of them is now. Yeah, There's I just, one. I think unless I destroy that wall, I can't get that A, so. I mean, I look, that block looks pretty platform. Move into the party room. Damn it. At the same time, you know, I don't know. This is an ocean game. This could mean anything. Like yeah. it does do a loop in threes. Same room. Yeah. Uh, Where uh, is Jortisha? I have no idea. Uh, 
shopping for jorts. <laughs> she just really loves jorts. Yeah, it's just, you know, her brand, her style. Okay. Turns out if you are. Oh. Okay, so you're just invincible, but the knockback still happens. Okay. Yeah, so it's the same as the A. Okay. Yeah, it's not be, very be long lasting. On health? Hmm? I said be net neutral on health. That's true. Oh, not if I get hit by that guy, though. I, I, went I would use the other one here. Yeah, we got this. These guys need to turn around. Yeah, this guy stays in the same spot, I believe. Get back here and let me kill you. Go. There you go. Because we're probably going to be on this path a fair amount because this is the loop we kept getting stuck in. Might as well destroy the caterpillar now. Guy stops there. There we go. Now with the teleporter's room. There you go. Coming down. Like I said, these guys are fine as long as they don't get, they don't pin me. These guys at least need to get like knocked back a little bit. No health though, damn. Right. This is really clean for SNES. I mean, this was 1994, I think. So the question is, do I need to hit that button? Or should I just wait until I accidentally make a wrong, another wrong turn and get sent down there? God damn it. The answer How unfortunately could go either way. Damn it. Yeah. Oh. Alright, so the only hint we have is right is wrong. Are those hint right is wrong? The hint was right is wrong, yeah. Right, but both of the hints were that, correct? Correct. No, I need you to drop skull. Even more so now. Uh, yeah. Damn it. Ow. Uh. Yeah, at least we have the cookie. Yeah, thank goodness. I just wish I'd stop hitting the wrong button. There we go. Once again, out of heels. And we'll just have to use all of our skills. Let's hope we don't get unlucky. already been pressed. Okay. Ma Hench's boudoir. No salesmen, no beggars, no do-gooders, no tourists, no deliveries, no plumbers, no kids, no visitors, no buddy. Trespassers will be skinned, boiled, and eaten. I should be fine. Oh, great. Um, oh, boy. Okay, it looks like it's 1, 3, 2. I'm sorry, 3, 1, 2. Yeah, that's it. What? It wasn't. What? It was just 3, 1. Okay. Well, we even have there she level? is. Let's get our cookie ready, right. I guess. The cookie. Well, looky here, we got ourselves a stranger. Ain't no strangers welcome here, so let me introduce myself. The name's Ma Hench. Now put him up. Okay. 
Uh, Hench, we need to talk about the, uh, what's the word? Orientation of your lair. I, I'm seeing a few problems that might make it difficult to get around. And it's gone. Okay. Oh, land fight. At least we got some excellent intel on her. Uh, you could probably spam, uh, seeds. That's what I'm thinking. I gotta stop doing that. I keep thinking, why is the attack button? Nope, it's just the dedicated map button. There's a map? weird button to pick for that. Everybody wants to look at the map. How else is anyone going to know where they are unless they know the general cube shape area they're in? She's very wiggly. Very wiggly. Now she learned the wave beam. What are we gonna do? Not to be confused with jiggle physics. Like marbles. The movement pattern is impressively erratic. <laughs> Tracks you? Hmm? I said it pseudo tracks you. Yeah. Oh, thank God. There you go. You couldn't Hold handle on. the power of marbles. I assume. Hey, freebie. Yay. Oh, thank yeah. God. All right. Okay, now what? You gotta find Weep's voice. And there he is, and so's the candle. And the candle. Nice. Heck yeah. Hello again, Fester. <laughs> Look over here, it's my voice. Choo choo gulp. Fweep. Honk honk honk. Blip blip blip. I take everything back. Thank you, Fester. If there's anything I can do, just ask. How about shutting up for a start? Honk honk honk. Wah, 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 wah. Anything you say. Weep. And perhaps you could try putting your neck between my hands like this and. <sighs> Wait. Is there something. There is something you could do. You could wake the gargoyles. I'll meet you there. Now I have so, a candle. He said he spoke in air horns, right? Hello again, Fester. Can't stop around. I think I'm on to a lead. We already found your boat. Never mind. <laughs> I'm on a lead. I'm on a mission. I, found I can the lead. do it. I can do it nine yeah. times. Yeah. So yes, that button was completely and utterly useless. Okay. Yeah. So now where are we? Okay, so theoretically now we can get Morticia, and we can also Maybe. go to the kids, because the kids mm -hmm. need the candle. That sounds easier. Oh, they, oh, wait, they said there was a psychopath in the cave. Yeah, I don't know if that means I have to fight anything, or if they just give me a heart container, or a skull container, whatever. But on the plus side, now we don't lose a blue spot immediately after getting hit. I remember being Fester being this mean in the movie. I mean, Fester's never really been mean, but they definitely made him very snarky in this one. Alright. About time, Fester. I'll take that candle. At last, my creation has life. Take this lantern, Pugsley. Enter the cave and seek your psycho. A malevolent grin creeps over Wednesday's face as she lights the pumpkin head. No demented psychos in here. We must have escaped. He must have escaped in a stalking his next victim as we speak. I did find this box. It plays a tune when you lift the lid. Hmm, something of possible value. I'll have that, Pugsley. I now have a musical box. Yay! See you later, Fester. We—he won't, or at least he won't if I can help it. 
Oh right, I forgot. Anytime you get a health extension in a cut in like a dialogue bit, he does this weird melting face thing. We would have seen that if we had actually like traded in the the rose to Morticia as well. Yay! Evil literally times and a half your health. All right, so we have a music box and we have the rattle. We trade in the the rattle to get another skull, so we'll suddenly go from having four hit points to seven. Woohoo! Is blue your maximum lightning? Yes. Okay. Okay. It's just now I think if I take a hit, I'll still Let's have say, it. Yeah. Not about to test the theory with no cookies, but you know, pretty sure that's the case. Let's go to the cookie. Why exactly is Wednesday always trying to kill Pugsley? You know, sibling rivalry. Bit. One sided sibling rivalry. Walls mostly. Can cookies get refilled? Yes, but I have to find Grandma for that. And she's in the eastern swamps, which is a ways away. Uh... Not interested? Oh, fuck. No, still not enough to keep blue. It's not... Blue has to be full health all times, is it? I hope not, because that would suck, because it is a damage increase, too. Uh, it's your sword beam. All a link. Yeah, but the sword beam didn't do extra, like, more damage. I mean, I true, it was basically damage, safety. Alright, now we're back to the greenhouse, which means Morticia should be... God damn it, really. Morticia should be over on this spot here now. There she is. There she is. Where were you? Got a rattle and everything. Morticia. Fester, any news? No, Morticia, but I found this. Pubert's favorite rattle. He just loved to sit and play with the razor wire for hours. Oh, how I miss the little freak. I'll take the rattle off your hands. It has great sentimental value. Curse you, Fester. How can I ever thank you? Gee, I feel kind of weird all of a sudden. There we go. Oh, Fester, how I miss dear Pubert. All right, well, that's all we're going to get out of that. Say Fister's skull through three sizes that day. That sounds very dangerous. I am still a little worried that we've not found a password yet. Yeah, that's that that's not going to be good. I do remember as a kid it took me a while to find that too, but I didn't think it'd be this uh tricky. Uh oh. Okay, Fweep, here we are, the gargoyles. Right, here we go. Blur. <laughs> cough, 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 I seem <laughs> to have lost my <laughs> voice again. <laughs> I had better go and do something about it. I'll just be seeing you, Fester Adams. What a shame. He's lost his voice again. Well, the gargoyles are now awake. Under the smash pillar, a hidden staircase winds down into the darkness. Honest question for a project I'm working on slowly. What to you makes a good 2D beat em up? A good combo system. It's gotta feel satisfying to beat up your enemies. <laughs> Fester. Oh no! Anyways. Yeah, Adrian, I might want a reminder on how to get the passwords, because I thought it was like I bump into Gomez and he tells me the password, but I haven't found him. I can't see shit down here. I see. Well, that was fun. I think lightning would generate. Yeah, whatever. Light a candle? I don't have a candle. I gave it to the kids. Oh, for Damn. fuck's sake. Oh. And it's still not enough for both. And apparently, you need to talk to Cousin It in the Eastern Swamps. Okay, well, we are in the Eastern Swamps right now. 
So it is around here somewhere. I guess we didn't do the upper path. We only did the lower path, so maybe it's in the upper path. Let's go find it. Oh, come on. You're missing an item. I mean, I gathered. <laughs> Slightly, yes. Time to go reach out. Well, the good news is, with a lot more health, we won't die as fast. Yay! <laughs> Not necessarily in this game, mind you. You're just missing an item in general. Yeah, I mean that life's like that. Sometimes you just I miss an it. item in life. Darn it, I missed a key Where item, and I can't go back and get it. Darn I know. I remember cousin it being in the actual swamp swamp, but I just don't remember where in the fucking swamp. Yeah, because we did, like, a whole circle of this place, I'm pretty sure. I thought we did. But I, as a kid, I remember, like, a staircase. Yep. Alright, well, you can restock my magic seeds. Would you like some seed? There you go. This is where Gomez is blocking us again. Or is he not? Wasn't that where Gomez was? Help. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, there he is right there. Ah, because he helped the kids. Fester, old man, just the hapless gopher I was looking for. Okay, what do you want me to do? Well, there's a gate not far from here, a gate which I believe is the only way into the mansion. Let me guess, the gate is locked and you have want me to fight a horde of foul monsters to get the key? Perhaps. But, uh, y'all behave? Actually, don't behave. Be Hellraisers. Love you. Now I don't know what to do. Night, Frank. Thanks for being on. Close! Indeed. But we already have the key. Unfortunately, I tripped and dropped the key into this pool of clean, pure water, which is deadly to wee, twisted, and thoroughly spooky atoms. So you want me to risk my neck to find a way to retrieve the key while you stand there and do nothing? Well, I wouldn't say nothing exactly. I thought I might pop off for a round of golf, but you have the gist of it. Sounds fair enough to me. I'll be seeing you later then. All right, so there's a key in this area. Where? What area are we considered in here? Wetlands. I see. All right, so let's worry about this area later. Hi, Frank. Don't worry. John's regret is inevitable. I mean, it's not wrong, I guess. He did make it an open call, so... Why is Gomez's uh -oh. sprite actually drawn, but Fester's just compressed Christopher Lloyd? <laughs> because uh, they got the rights, and God damn it, they're going to use it. Gosh darn it. I'll come up our deep. <clears throat> How you doing, Deef? 
Good, I'm trying to make my life easier so that I have a remote access methodology, so if I break things when I'm out, I can fix them. Ah, smart. Planning ahead. I really don't get where the fuck I would have missed Cousin It. I feel like we cover this entire zone. Oh, joy. So now the red thing has just moved up in the world. Yeah, not quite what I would have wanted. All right, well, let's stop fighting everything at this point. Grandma should be around here somewhere too, unless I have to do dungeon two. He says as he immediately goes to fight something. Head down to the right, past the cracked tree, head up to find Cousin It. See, this is where I would have expected to find Cousin It. Head down and to the right, past the cracked tree, head up to find Cousin It, the master password. So I can if you want or continue upwards. Ah, oh, there he is. Aha! Me, 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 me. Sure, I'll tell you what I found. Me, 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 me. Yes, of course, I'll tell you where it's been. Me, me, me. And who I've spoken to. Me, 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 me. So the password is, oh, that's a big password. That is a password. The faster just says it out loud. So the password is Sevon Flab Flab Look. I guess we just walked past it earlier because we definitely have been in that area. He is the same color as everything else here. True. Yeah, well. But that's what these things. And there's Grandma. Had a feeling. Hey, Hello again, Festa. Hello, Granny. Those cookies you made were rotten. I'm glad you like them. Fancy some more? Here you go, dearie. More crusty cookies. I've also finished that slimming potion, but why you'd want to lose all those folds of fleshy white flab, I don't know. It's not for me, Granny. I now have a slimming potion. Whew, I'm pooped after making that potion. I'm going to get some foul air. See you later. Uh, I better eat this cookie, like, right now. Nom, 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 nom. Uh, ma'am, I'm not trying to talk to you. I'm trying to eat a cookie. I'm not here for conversation. I'm here for... Now cookie. I want to talk to you. Yes, now I want another one. No, nope, she's not going to give me another one. Okay. Good to know. And that probably means she's gone now. Yep. Well. Okay, well, we're back to just having one cookie again, so I wonder where she's gone now. Hmm. Okay, so the real question is, what the hell should we do next? We missed a dungeon. Just straight up missed a dungeon. Um, we have a couple different places we can go that we've never been before. Right. We can take we can take the the transit now. Yeah. Uh, well, hypothetically, assuming nothing else goes wrong. Uh, we need to help golf guy get his golf keys. 
That's the greenhouse nice. was in fact dungeon two. Is that actually the case? Oh. I'm just checking here. Did I not leave that site open? I did. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Uh, no, there actually is a place called Dungeon 2. <laughs> oh. There is actually a Dungeon 2. Uh, okay. Dungeon 2 on VG Maps is Dungeon 3 in game. Oh, shit, is it? Oh shit, no, you're uh, totally right. Never mind, you're totally right. Okay, so we haven't missed a dungeon then. We're good. We we just wanted to go to we just wanted to go to the third one first, you know? Yeah, mix it up a little. Numbers, organization, who needs that? We're on a quest, baby. Alright, so the real question is now. The fuck do we need to do next? Hmm. Because we've the only things in our inventory right now is the shrinking potion and the musical box. Right. Uh. Hmm. A hypothesis would be he's the. Uh, he said he lost the key to the mansion, I think? So presumably we would need that before we could even get in through the tram. It mm, yeah. might be the one we want to go do first. Might. As far as I know, you know, we have to go back and forth between the two. I don't know. Or maybe there's just a We weird could area. go to Northern Swamp because we did have access to that area. Could do that. Yeah, so we can go Northern Swamp or we can go to the Wetlands. Those are our two options right now. We're right next to Wetlands. Fweep opens the dungeon when he scares with the gargoyles. Yeah, but we can't go into that dungeon. We have no candle currently. Or we have no light source. We can't see crap. So we've got three places we can go, but only two we can do something in, presumably. Unless you want to pull up the map and just fumble your way around. Eh. Classic Zelda lanternless. Yeah, there's any enemies that were fucked. Oh, hi. You're over here now. Okay. Bookie. Don't bother me now, I'm Fester. Not. I'm busy looking for ingredients, but if you see anything that may be of interest, come straight back here. No cookies. It's not even going to give me a cookie. All right. Bad. Just in case it's a temporary dialogue. Let's see. Nope. We should have it. Nope, this is all we have in our inventory. We have no method of light currently because we use the can we gave the candle to the kids. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we can't just generate some weird form of light. Ah well. Yeah, so we can either go do Northern some, Swamps some or we can fuel do... burning material we could use to generate light. Something knowing the Adam family sticky and... I mean, I can shoot electricity. You think that would light things up? Fair. Something wicked. Wick. Hmm. Maybe we could use a candle. <gasps> nah, we already, we already used the one. Clearly there's no other use for it. Hmm. Six, if you're saying it's in the desert, I've been to the desert before. And it looks like Peggy is saying it is in the desert too, so I guess let's head to the desert. To the desert. Problem is no fast travel, so we're unfortunately gonna be walking. Waddle all the way, baby. To the sweet pastries. Yay. Oh, wait. No, we're not allowed to take any more. Darn it. Oh, wait, you said sweet. No, wait. Hmm. Yes. 
trying to remember how I accessed that one area we hadn't gotten to yet. And then I turned around. Because the greenhouse is up there. Right. Yeah, Just if I can the... if I can go up here we'll be fine. <clears throat> Damn it. I already made the ambush joke, so no point in that. See how this goes. Plant who needed juice is on the way there. Okay. Did we already juice this one? I walked up this way and then turned around because I wasn't sure where to go. That's true. Yeah, we've not oh, been in this fun. area. We've definitely not been in this area. Bye. Okay. Have a good day. Okay. Well, let's keep going up. Move it on up. God damn it. Some of these fucking areas look the exact goddamn same, though. I'm just getting a little confused on some of those. Another bridge. And let's be cross. A lot of bridges sky high over mountainous regions of in this area. Alright. Desert area by itself. Hey. Damn it, they are very fast. Yep. Boom. There's another bridge. Had a feeling. Okay. Ah. Fucking Lost World, or sorry, Jurassic Park Part 2 flutes are out. As I should be for Lester's quest. There we go, there's a cave. Okay, progress. Uh. <laughs> Not where I would have thought that would have put me. It's a good thing all these caves are just like go in, go out, you know, nothing in the middle, nothing noteworthy at least. They just skip right to it. Here, hard work and determination. A down there, ghost. Aha! Aha! I now have a firefly. There's our light source. Right where everyone would look for it. Yeah, in the middle of the desert, in a in a jar. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Just there it is. Wow, this freaking one desert panel is surprisingly huge. Plot twist, I'm bigger than the rest of the game, baby. <laughs> that would be the worst. And there's the the A we saw earlier. Huzzah! Now that we're already at full health. Uh, good to know, at least. I left a firefly in a jar in the desert? Who knows with the atoms at this point? Well, come on. Aw, oh, sniped. Unfortunate. 
I bet they wanted it to learn from the desert sun so it'd be brighter at night. Ah, I see. Learn from the best. Let's see if this yeah. game leads anywhere. Reads the ghosts. Dead end. I do love the scrolling background. I mean, it's nice it's actually showing, like, the different areas you're going through in it, but yeah. Yeah. I don't know how you're suddenly that high up in the air, but I do love the scrolling background. I do like how they put up unfinished bridges everywhere. Then I'll get to this later. Yeah, that does seem like the most Adams Family thing, to be fair. Okay, I assume this whole area is just for that one item, so I'm gonna bounce out of here. I guess let's go back to the gargoyle cave, I guess. Okay. Oh, let's see why not. And at that point, we've got two options on what to do. The trans train or the, uh, or the wetlands. And I think the idea that we would need the key for the wetlands makes sense. Actually, you know what? Before I do this... There's a whole left path we haven't done here yet. Oh, boy. Let's see what's left. Now, this should be the other half of that bridge I can't use. It's my own damn fault for doing that. But yeah, other half of the bridge we can't use. Classic. Damn it, John. God, the shortening of range wouldn't be so bad if it also didn't lower your power. That's the yeah. bummer thing, I think. That that seems almost backwards, right? Like, the shorter range should do more damage. You'd think. But at that point, this would be the kind of game where people would do, like, a like a minimum health run on. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's fine, too, right? You know, like, uh, high risk, high reward. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh. Mistake. Or high cash I have a personal risk. preference for low risk, high reward, but that's just me. I mean, most people would prefer that, if we're being real. Yeah. Yeah. No, just here, here's an area that's got nothing in it again. <laughs> oh, boy, my favorite. Probably means I'm going to meet a family member here at some point. It's a very Are Amiga just... thing, which isn't surprising since Ocean started with Amiga. Yeah, I think, unfortunately, Ocean's Amiga tendencies really rubbed off in their games, even on non-Amiga stuff. God damn it. You never turn around where I expect you to. I don't need to. I'm a caterpillar. I turn where I wish. Hello. Ooh. Practice it for the arcade game. What do you think? Damn oh. it. I forgot it was not ex completely exploded. It still hurts. Is that Roblox? No. No, it is not. A shame. That. And we're down to red already. Fuck. Oof. Well, the good news is you're near a full health A. The bad news is Bs. Yes, that is the bad news. You couldn't believe it. Boo. Boo. I'll boo myself for that one. That's full health. What's the other one? Also full health. Yeah, that's what you need. Two full healths right next to each other. I assume one of them is actually not full health. 
add on, I could see it measly be both being it. John, what format or slash website should the game clearance specialty be? I mean, you can just make it a Google Doc. Do it however you, oops, you want. You can just be an image, but like Google Doc's probably gonna be your easiest thing to do. To do. God, now I feel like I need to go back and get the fucking thing again. Yeah, that's why there were two there, just in case you fuck up. Don't worry, we have a backup. All right, let's check out the gargoyle dungeon. Okie dokie. And at that point, I might just flip a coin. Well, actually, well, really, what are my options now? It's uh, still, it's still just the the trans pipe and the uh, the wetlands, right? But I assume uh, if we use the the trans the trans path, we can't actually do anything there because we don't have the key. Hypothetically, I don't actually have to equip it. Uh, hmm. Oh hey! It's dungeon. Dungeon two. two. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Which we could only only access after dungeon three. I think somebody forgot how to count. And it could very well be an Adams family member. I don't know. No, if if we're talking about that, they'd count down. Uh, and the further dungeons would just be like ticking time bombs to your death. Just like as numbers? I think I have a visitor. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, no bagel, just you? Aye. Uh, half hour. I mean, check for him one more time here now, and then I'll just pop up early and look. Boggle's Baneful Beacon. Here he is. This is a pretty sizable looking dungeon. Of course, the firefly was for one. One whole room. Oh, come on. Got the little eyeball goombas. Apparently, just Perfect. pick a direction and go. You okay there, shot? Seems like you should probably be traveling a little farther. No, must shoot the ground. Alright, you do you. Oh, where the hell am I now? Okay, uh, I'm all the way up here now. Uh, hey. Alright, why not? Step, 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 step. Um, <laughs> you see, oh, that was fun. That's not wait, what? Uh, oh, wait, there was a uh, teleport in the other room. I'm sorry, hang on. No, oh, wait, no, there's not. Oh, it must be tied to the button. Yeah, there we go. It's tied to the button. Okay. False alarm. That, that, what about that. this button, though? Like. What happens if we push the button again? Nothing! Nothing! Okay. How about a fourth time? All the bridges are gone. Yeah. So press it three times by the looks. One, two, three. Hooray! Jellyfish. Doesn't look 
Focus and wartime jellyfish. I mean, they have water in them. Yeah. Hmm. I guess they are just floating brain thingies. Two so teleporters. Let's try left first. Let's see what we got. Take care where you tread. Fiery surprises lie ahead. Oh boy, I love surprises. Same thing. Okay. Maybe you just put them on both sides for symmetry, or just... Probably because there's cannons shooting fireballs on both sides. Yeah, Makes yeah, sense. Oh, dear. Ah, uh, okay, so some of these actually fire these cannons. Interesting. Okay, that's better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, honestly, same here. <laughs> thought that was going to be a lot worse. How many dungeons does this game have? No idea. Oh, that got rid of it? What? Why? That's Camille, you, that's why. you have a cannon. It's called Bifaru. Mind you, that's a cannon spelled with... Uh, uh, one one N. N. Two. I see. Not given right of having cannon. I mean, you can make your own cannon, really. Make it fire whatever you want. Uh, which For way songs? are we going here? Oh, Wait, you do it... You do have a cannon. You you have the one that shoots the little gremlins. Just, just use that. When did she get a gremlin cannon? Uh, I forget, but I do remember it was animated, so... Uh, I'll see if I can find it. Hold on. Alright, let's see here. Warning! Entrance to Morobe's Mystical Maze of Madness. Oh boy, that sounds like fun. Question mark. Let's see. I guess if it's a mod given right, where's my cannon? Okay, I think I see what they're going for here. Do 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 do. do. question is how many times we're gonna have to do this and the answer is yes deja vu been here before Okay, so that leaves the path to the right and the path up. Like, I assume there's something of worth coming in here for, right? I would. I knew someone oh. wouldn't resist quoting Deja Vu with the song. Oops. I mean, they, they, they literally set that up. What, what else were we going to do? I know, I know. Oh, come on. I should have been far enough there. Uh, Gotta be careful. I don't think I have any cookies. Oh, I have one. Okay, good. Yeah, blend cookie. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, I'm boy. Gonna take them. Us. I'm not even going to take yeah. any of those right now. That's probably the smart thing to do, honestly. I was afraid to press that button. Push the button. Okay. I don't know what it does. It's all off screen. Give me your skull. But I don't wanna. Give me your skull. No. I worked hard on it. I polish it every day. I wonder if it made a bridge, depending on how many presses I gave it. Only 
Three ways to find out. Actually, looks like all he's doing is firing this cannon. Darn it. So what is the point of firing a cannon if it doesn't mm -hmm. hurt the enemies? Oop. Oh, it's it's a the lot Adams of family. They're almost the definition of fuck around and find out for fun. They would make a button to fire a cannon at themselves just to play chicken because they're bored. I mean, who hasn't really? Well, I'm all the way up there. Most now. sane okay. individuals. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right, well, that accomplished nothing. Which unfortunately means we're going to be using one of these random portals over here, and let's see what happens. Ugh, five of them I gotta test out. Start with the Yay. bottom one. Oh, hello. Okay. Progress. I now have the stone key. Oh, okay. There's just a whole key here. Deep. Uh, but what does that do? Uh, let's you. I haven't seen any doors I need thing. to open yet. That is what is needed. That is the only thing in here. Oh my god, alright, well. Okay, sure. It's quite the video game you've chosen, huh? It, I knew it was going to be interesting, I just wasn't sure how interesting. Mm hmm. I forget if you said actually what made you want to do this one. This was a childhood one. I used to borrow this off a friend all the time, but never actually got to beat it. And gotcha. now I'm seeing why child me never figured that out. Child, a dark enemy, let's go. Child, you was just preparing. You needed tons and tons of training. <laughs> Alright, so now here's the question What do we do? Do we go to the trans tunnel or do we go to the wetlands? Um, Part of me feels like there's no point doing the tunnel, but I don't know for sure. Well, I guess we could just put it in the simple which one's closest. I also at some point know I figured out how to get the Sarlacc to spit out that void thing. I got that at some point too as a kid. But I don't know what I would give him otherwise, currently, to cause that to happen. Uh, Child, sure, you didn't have the prerequisite amount of hate needed for this job, my god. Hmm? More like Child, me had a lot more time on his hands. Eh, that, that's definitely also a move for a lot of people too, yeah. But you slowly built up that time. Maybe. Swamp and then go up. Fucking <laughs> Rosie, just la me. Lama. Lama. She just laughs at her ass. Not off though. It stays on. Yeah. She's making fun of me because like I like mistyped LMA. It was just LMA. So I just added the L right afterwards. Yeah. Lama. Lama. Child you wasn't playing this game as a job, that's also true. Child me was that playing this because he was bored. Hmm? And now he can, with all his professional skills, come back and finish the fight that he started really long ago. On these. Now that we're here, we're professionals. Yeah. Well... Mm. Eh. <laughs> you need to discover how to get that boredom back. Oh, just not work a job and only have to worry about school. But also, okay. I don't want to worry about school anymore, so I'm good. So we're not going back for your doctorate. No. Darn. I don't have to eat the other cookie to get her to give me cookies back, right? I don't think that's how this works. I don't think so. But that's concerning either way. If we need to find another ingredient before we can get any more cookies. Alright, let's at least get a password on screen for us. 
Oh, nah, Peggy, I'm God. fine. Like I said, we've got two paths to go down. I'm just deciding which one to do. Indeed. And it's true. If you do become a doctor, you could fulfill, like, the Duke prophecy of becoming Dr. Proton. Good. Then I can be the rival or, like, the villain of Duke Nukem. Exactly what I wanted. All right. Exactly. All right. There's a password for us, at least. Uh, I guess I'll dig into the wetlands. Okie dokie. Did you get an honorary doctorate? Honorary doctorate in game collecting. Uh, you, can probably, you can probably do, do that. Do they hand out doctorates for those? I don't think they do. I mean... Well, okay, What? what what's required so, for... So, technically... Oh no, you're stressing the word that much. <laughs> If, if someone really, really wanted to, you could probably become an archivist with a focus on video game history. Okay. And basically be like, um, it's not paleontology, fuck. It's modern art, like modern history, archaeology. Shit. Um, so like, so like an Indiana Jones. Anthropology. Doctor. There we go. I would, I'm just uh, going to be Indiana Jones and just run around with a whip and beat the shit out of Nazis. I, th I think that's yeah. actually... I think I'm okay with this. Well, the well, whip's going to be the easy... Video games while collecting video games. Of course. That, that's the treasure, actually, is the video games. This copy this of Little Samson temple. belongs in a museum! <laughs> but yeah, if you actually wanted to, yes, you, you could get a, a doctorate in anthropology with a focus on, like, modern gaming culture type stuff. I think it's anthropology. Then like, theoretically, yeah, Proton. totally. And then Duke Nukem would come and kick your ass. Yeah. Mostly. Why, why does this end with Duke beating the shit out of me? Like, I don't really dig that part of the plan. Okay, well, we does... can work that out later, but still. He does it with love. Does he? I thought he did it with his no. boots. I, hmm? Objectively, I do, he does not do it out of love. Look, I never, I never played a Duke Nukem. I can mischaracterize him. He's a pretty straightforward guy. I mean, just look at this. <laughs>
Like his pinball table is all what? gone. What? <laughs> like it disappeared. It ran away from home, dude. You know the refrigerator that went running? Well, the pinball chased after it. We can't find the goddamn pinball. It was a noble cause, but unfortunately, it just got away. Yeah. You ever, you ever oh. seen uh, this little movie about like the two dogs and the cat, Homeward Bound? Yeah, uh, there was a pinball table bound. with them. It's always Homeward Bound. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a brave little toaster. Also that. The brave little Homeward Bound. Ah, of course, perfect. I mean, they're the same movie, really. <laughs> John just doesn't involve you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. So we're funding John getting balls? Damn, change of pace. I I hate that Gwen's not entirely wrong here. <laughs> That's right, here at the John Gets Balls Foundation, you I two hate, can give I hate, John something new. I hate new. this so much. Fuck you, I hate this <laughs> Okay, so okay, much. I am not participating in that charity. I'm out, I'm out, goodbye. Nope, not doing that. That's right, you two can grow a pair today. I super hate this so much. <laughs> I will blame Maniacal for this, but I did as associate with it, so yeah. Alright, you're first. And so if you donate today, you get one free copy of Balls of Fury. That's right, a DVD copy. Just for but, you. But only for, only for donations of $20 or more. Exactly, we have to pay for the shipping. Yeah. Well, sorry. I can't give them all the balls of fury. I mean, I know we have like a warehouse full of them, but still. <laughs> the charity has lost its vision, tainted. Look, you ever hear of second charity? What? Yeah, because we had the Give John Money Foundation. Now we have the John Gets Balls Foundation. <sighs> we have so many foundations, dude. I found okay, Dungeon well. 5. All oh, right. Boy. Moist Water Company, notice number six. These sewers have been sanitized in the interest of public health and safety. Moist. How dare they? They even left the fishman here. I can't believe this. What kind of craftsmanship is there? You give John plush Pokeballs, does that count? Absolutely. Now see... Uh, balls come in all shapes and sizes, right? And... You can't really put those in a pinball <sighs> table. You're right. I mean, they can go in a pinball table. But, like, will they fit? Once. It will depend upon the size of the pinball table. That's true, that's true. Yeah, here at the 50-foot Pinball Table Foundation, we too are here what to bring fun to everyone. Everyone needs to be able to play pinball. This includes exactly. The, the only thing we can do, you know, the Las Vegas Spear. We're gonna do that, but with pinball. That is the size of the ball that's going into this pinball machine. Everyone gets to have fun. Hydra John will no longer have to sit by and watch John play his pinball table. She will have her own, and we'll probably destroy a small village. But you know what? We'll get we'll get there when we get there. <laughs> the, that's what the, the Dragon Balls are for. Is the small village? Ah. I... Okay, okay. So it's Katamari. Go. Ish. Perfect. Okay, so now like, it has to be a sticky ball. I like O2's comment here. So we're running two competing charities. One to give John boobs and another to reverse the transformation. Which do I choose? <laughs> uh, donate to both and then bail on one once one gets closer. <laughs> oh, is, that's is, what... Okay, there we go. Now we're not stuck. Can we legally do that? Technically, uh, no. I mean, it's your money, right? True. I don't know. I don't know how charities work. I just work here. Mm. Both true neutral. This is how I become genderless, I guess. Should I even be doing Dungeon no, 5 it's right how now? you like, this become is the idea. gender. To overcome gender, you must first break it at the foundation. Only then can you truly persevere. You will be the definition and therefore the leader. <laughs> sure, I yeah. have Clyde's Cookie Compendium. Well, I can guess Ooh. who that goes to. I want to make some cookies. I'm seeing friends make cookies. I'm just like, man, I want to do this too. Shit. I cook more. Quantum Gender. Have you heard of Schrodinger's Balls? Wow. 
How fitting Duke okay. showed up for that one, too. There's an old saying that you can tell a lot about a person by the company they keep. Shit. I'm sorry. Hey, man. To quote Persona 4, I love them balls. <laughs> you quote that Persona 4. I'll take your word on that one. Yeah, that's the basketball player. He's like, I love them balls. That is a real quote, by the way. I do not doubt. I also do not doubt. I am very much <laughs> unsurprised. I think it's really cool, honestly, how, like, Persona 4, I know it's, like, a different game, but, like, I think what's really cool how that game had, like, splits, like, choices for some of your, like, Arcana. It's, like, you could have, like, the same Arcana, but, like, two different characters, which, like, could kind of incentivize, like, a replay, where it's, like, oh, maybe this playthrough pick basketball, this playthrough pick sports for, like, one Arcana, or it's, like, this playthrough I pick music, this playthrough I pick arts for, like, another, like, club, and it's, like, the same Arcana, it's, like, two different, like, stories and all that. I thought that was really cool. They say basketball or sports. <laughs> I would say yeah, basketball or soccer. <laughs> <laughs> There's a difference. There's a difference. Hmm. Hands versus feet. The classic basketball. Ah, damn it. There was something there. Ah. Unless, except for the goalie, who's allowed to break all the rules, I guess. They're special. Yeah. The, the goalies are allowed goalie to use their hands. all of the rules. Back to start. Okay. Not helpful. Yay, loop. Yay. Here. Let's see. Uh, how was Bagel, by the way, since you went to go check on him earlier? He's still outside. It's not as cold as I thought it was, so he should be fine. Good. Reese also okay. was checking on him, so. Okay. She's getting ready Explains how. Mm hmm. Well, I was at a point where my timer says we only have like three minutes left, so I'm gonna add like maybe another three or four minutes on top of that. And then that'll be it for the stream. We'll continue this game next week. Although, I'm actually gonna have to go back to find Cousin didn't get a passcode. Hmm. Should or could the Joker who removed the stone button from this switch please return it? I assume they did not do that, so I am in fact in trouble. Don't know what that <laughs> I'm did. in danger. So it's like, if we can't just take another stone, it has to be that one specifically. Don't know what that button did. <laughs> okay. No fucking clue. That's the fun part. We get to find out later. Yay! Warping. We get to break all of the things. And don't you love to do that? I forget if I told this story. I, I still remember when, like, going to Magfest and like getting like CD fair was cool. And like, I remember during our Cape Bit show, this motherfucker was programming something. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> I mean, he's he's not wrong. I I was I was programming a thing at Arcade Pit because that's the, my brain doesn't shut down. It never shuts down. Oh, it's coding, baby. <laughs> it's a I, cry for help, given form. I, in, in, in actuality, having seen someone else go through the process, mm -hmm. I genuinely may need to get, like, officially diagnosed to get my brain to fucking shut down with, like, ADHD and get on meds. I don't know. Oh, I just know... Okay. The one time in the past I was on meds, people around me said I was a lot calmer. Interesting. <laughs> a lot more laid back. I may just need it for my fucking sleep schedule <laughs> at this mm. point. How late are you normally staying up? I'm not answering that question. <laughs> yeah, no, I had a feeling on that one. That's, That's fair. I mean, volumes. I'm, I'm in the same boat of like a really bad sleep schedule right now that was fixed for a bit and then it's not anymore. 
My bad. <laughs> no, it's not your fault. That's on me. Can we blame him anyway? No. I mean, we can. You had your chance, and then Monaco said no, so now it's gone. Okay, fine. <laughs> Clyde Dragonborn, the Maniacal issue is that I am programming in my sleep. My brain doesn't stop thinking about the shit that I'm working on, which means I can't fall asleep. See, he's an actual workaholic. There's a difference. <laughs> I mean, it's a better problem to have than not, I guess? Uh, that depends. It does depend. Like, obviously, we don't want you, like, overworking yourself and stressing yourself out to extreme degrees. Of course. It's, it's not stress. It just it can start causing... Like, I mostly have it under control, but if I stop having it under control for a bit, I can start, like, missing meetings and shit. Yeah. That happened at my first mm. job. Um, so, I, don't, like, it's... I don't know what to do here. I, I, I don't think I can actually make progress. I guess maybe it's not here then. Cause I need the I need to find the button to put in there, I assume. Maybe. I need a th I need a third button to press, basically, is my issue here. Right. So we should go find a button. And we've already okay. gone this way, but that had two teleporters, so maybe I need to just figure out what the second teleporter thing is. Right. Let's find out. Let's find out together. Let's see if by chance one of these things I did opened up a new path in here. Nope, did not. Oh! Okay. Oh. That's new. Uh, Indeed. Okay. Indeed. I definitely thought I definitely thought I stood on that. I remember standing on that. Oh my god! I'm literally I'm playing, playing Pac-Man right now. It's Pac-Man! Heck yeah! It's Pac-Man. So is this just an Easter egg to get some health back? Ah, there it goes. It brings us back. Alright, that had to have been an Easter egg, but that didn't help us. Unless I missed something in that room. Hmm. I don't actually know what to do now. Huh. I'm not hey. sure what I should be doing. I'm gonna go back into the Pac-Man maze in case there was something there I missed, but that seemed more like an Easter egg than anything else. <laughs> oh shit, it's Pac-Man. Oh shit. The pack is back. Alright, I killed all the ghosts, so. Not nearly enough dogs. It's, ju it's just an Easter egg then. Dang. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Uh, um, I guess I go rock hunting. Because I need that third button to cross this bridge to keep make, moving forward here, so I think I actually am, like, stuck-stuck. So I don't know that means Oof. I need an item from another dungeon, or if I'm just missing... something. Hmm. Uh, hmm. I'm not soft-locked, no, I just... don't know what to do. I'm just kind of puzzled. I swear, if it, the switch is like one of these little rocks just lying around here. Well, I mean, wasn't there a place where there were two teleporters I could pick and I picked one? Where was that? 
Not there. Nope. I wonder if it's like a specific like order. Hmm. This is Dungeon 5, for reference's sake, Peggy. AKA the fourth dungeon. <laughs> Depending on how you count the greenhouse, actually. I mean, the order I've been going in, it might as well be the fourth dungeon. It just seems like I'm missing something. That's just, that's all it seems to be at this point. We are way too far ahead. Yeah, I this they, this game lets you do shit out of order, so I'm doing shit out of order. As you should. Hell yeah. Gotta be just a hidden teleporter I didn't find or something. It doesn't seem like it. Oh. Okay, uh, I think I found something. I found oh, yeah. The walkthrough. Uh, it says somebody has the button. Oh, uh, like a... the prisoner. Oh. Shit. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right, so we can't do this yet, then. Bummer. At this point, I might as well just walk back to it and, and the get the password. It would yeah. probably be a smart thing to do, given the time. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Thanks, Petrie. No problem. You know, I've actually never seen Land Before Time. Which like, one? not a single one. That's oh, a little okay. surprising. I've also show? never seen a Land Before Time. I mean, you only really need uh, to see like the first one, and there's like a one or two, and after that, like a, that are all right. Mm-hmm. That's what I've heard. And, yeah. And then you start getting to the ones. What was the one? I think it's the think second one, one that has the eggs bit. Eggs. Eggs. No, that, that's a, that's an important one. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Get out of here! Get out of here! <laughs> Land before time yet again. Land during time, it's been that long. I have the password written down. Arrow, we're, I'm gonna need to get a new one because I still got, I got at least one item I'm gonna need to make sure I try to save. And that's the cookie, the cookie recipe book. Oh no, uh, that's a great question. Star, let's find out. Let me look up his uh, filmography. There, there's no way you haven't seen at least one Don Bluth film. Yeah, I swear to God, if Bartok is the only one you've only fought, you've seen, I, even I'm gonna yell at you for that. Uh, no, I have at least seen America. Wait, actually, which American Tale was that I saw? Hang on a second. I had to double check okay. these. Okay, this wasn't open before. Um. Hey, help me, please. My name is Jip, thief and escape artist extraordinaire, except I seem to be stuck. Very stuck. A bit embarrassing. If you help me get out of here, I'll help you any way I can. Take this. It's a squirt gun, except it ain't got water in it. Instead, it's filled with swamp juice. It's good at fending off nasties, and it ain't too bad at curing indigestion either. Well, I guess we got how to get the cube then. Oh, it's a bubble. I'm like, hey, they're they're stuck in a a glass jar. Next to two marble pillars. You you can't just smash the jar against the pillars. Barring all no, the cuts and scrapes he would get. Okay, so it's good the news. Family. They don't care. It's the fastest way to get it done. That's true. 
I, I I'm... guess a needle would probably fix this, yes. So, good news. Um, Bartok is not the only one I've seen. I have also okay. seen American. Ta I've also seen the first American Tale. I have to double check okay. the synopsis, but now I've seen it. Okay. That's that's all I've seen from Don Wood. <laughs> Bartok the Magnificent and American Tale. All right. Yep. I that's don't it. recognize <laughs> either of those. Good that you don't recognize about? Bartok. Uh, mm. But American Tale is Ameri a bit surprising. That's actually like a pretty well liked one. That's the one with the mouse named Fievel. Yep, five oh, oh no, I 100% recognize American Tale the moment you said that. Yes, yeah. Have you seen at least that one or Five Goes West? Because yeah. I've seen both of those. I feel those. like most people know Five Goes West more. <laughs> yeah, it. I know it goes west. Better both. Not the same dialogue. I had a VHS of like a TV show, Five Goes West. I don't really remember, like, what sort. I've seen the original too, but I don't know if that ever, if the TV show was an actual thing, or if I just got like the, we couldn't put this on TV, so here's four on a VHS or whatever. Bluth was like involved with Bartok, Mooch. Bluth, Bluth was involved in some way, shape, or form. I forget how, he was like maybe just director or something. Mm hmm. Thank you. This is so annoying. There we go. Okay, this this definitely looks. This was late nineties. Oh. What Bartok? I was, yeah, I was not expecting that to be late nineties. Let's see. Wikipedia says he was director and producer. Okay. Grandma, can I get new cookies yet? Oh, recipe book. Thank you, Fester. I can do something interesting with this. Meet me later in the stone gardens. I need the cookies I, now. I, Grandma, I really do need the cookies, though. Nope. Yelling at me. Okay, fine. Be that way. I don't know what she means by the stone gardens. That doesn't really narrow it down. Uh, maybe the uh, place with the gargoyles. Oh, he did Dragon's Lair. Yeah. Yep. Did a lot of things, really. Seeing in chat, we are. That is correct. We are getting a Twister sequel called Twisters. I was like laughing at that poster because it's the same goddamn font as Friends. <laughs> Uh, that's why odd. the fuck was that there? Oh dear. Was it a hockey question mark? Why, why would that even be there? That was weird. It is the same font as friends. What the hell? Why? If it, I don't think anything was. I saw anything there other than just like games. I think. I'll check that real quick. Hang on, I'll get the poster here, because, like, I know that, like, immediately. <laughs> hey. Why the fuck was that there? Hmm. Oh, well. Right, yep, found it. 7v9hls... One colon G colon Y G Y one F five C four N M C eight. Okay, password written down. Was that on screen? No. It missed you. It loved you. I don't know. Doesn't make much sense.
Is there an Uncle Fester custom sprite for LTTP? Not that I'm aware of, but you could make it. I, I mean, if you, if you <sighs> want to, I guess. Piece of shit. Yeah. Would you have to pay for the lightning? Would you have to pay for the likeness fees, though? I mean, is that under parody law? I don't know, because if it was. <laughs> Cause like like uh, if it was, then they probably wouldn't have to pay the likeness fees. Maybe I don't know. Hmm. Like I, I'm not 100 percent sure. Like I don't know the legal system when it comes to funny, uh, funny faces. Really. I should look that up later though. John ever finished Dungeon 2? Yeah, we finished that third. We couldn't even get to it until after Dungeon 3 for some reason, but... Whatever. Whatever and ever. Heavy. Heavy. So, let's see here. Got the cookie sheet. Is next. We gotta pop, we gotta go back to the Sarlacc pit, uh, get something from that, and I think then you can get the brick switch? Alright, well, so you know. I can go back to the Sarlacc pit and use that slime to get what I assume is the brick back. Um, I can still go shrink the dude who's in blocking the trans uh, mansion travel tunnel. Mm -hmm. There's a couple options of things I can do. I just gotta remember to do them next week. So, we'll continue the game next Monday. Hooray! Very good, very nice. Alright, schedule for the week. Wednesday is gonna be Power Trip. I figured it'd be fun to do on Valentine's Day. Uh, Friday's gonna be Resident Evil 5 in the afternoon with Camille. We're starting around 2 o'clock Mountain Time. And Saturday's fortune cookie, so otherwise standard schedule. Fair enough. Not bad, not bad. Alright, our block's got two pieces in it. Let's do alerts first. Lord Co. 9 for 49. Aqua Cassock 15 for 42. Virtual Rally Turtle for 55. Pluto says, wow, what a worthwhile charity. I'll donate. Mikey DCT says, raise money for pinballs. Damn it, I'm sold says, blame CoComs, John. To Crazy Dude says, I was told by Maniacal to hashtag give John money. Adrian Kell oh, says, yeah. I just want to point out the word gender fuck and how good it is. <laughs> and holla for 84. Okay. Thanks for subbing and hanging out tonight, folks. Your eggs tonight are... Shuffler. You will give me an egg. Yeah. All right, our block's got two pieces. Let's get them out of the way, get them shown, and get the hell out of Dodge. Okie dokie. Piece number one from Sparkling Spite. Uh-oh, someone's getting ready. Since oh, there's no. been a lot of talk of Jami recently, I thought it would be all right to share what I've done, got done for a Jami doll cosplay so far. I'm currently working on the wig while I wait for the weather to be warm enough that I don't risk freezing my hands as I smooth the tits with sandpaper in the garage. I'm really hoping to get her costume done around April. Heads up, don't use sandpaper on your tits. <laughs> Barbie doll, perfectly fine. Uh, not in real life. Don't do that. <laughs> Thanks, Spite. And the last piece I have here from Seesaw. Turn John into a woman. Reverse the process. John community sweating. When someone in chat brought up choosing between the two charities and someone else compared it to the two buttons meme, I knew I had to get to work. Uh, I worry about you guys sometimes. As you should. What's leading off Power Trip Wednesday? That's a good question. I feel like, no, Stunt Track was the last one we did. This time it is... 
Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin. Picked by Guy on the Sofa back on January 4th. Yeah, yeah. All right, and that is our block, and that's the stream, folks. What is our raid message? I mean, you could raise the awareness of the Proton John Charity Fund, I but... Don't, I don't think we have to do that. Darn. Jomini's drawing some big titties. Paul's playing Banishers. Drums playing Final Fantasy 7. Smite's live. He's playing Mega Man 6 for retro achievements. Andy Gaming Network's playing Super Metroid through 100%. Seems they're still pretty early. Like, you know, Smite's got a lot of achievements left still, by the looks. Where's Dungeon 2 is a pretty good one. <laughs> These boobs are for my sanity? When the fuck did that come up? Where's the second cookie? Where, where's the second dungeon? Yeah, where's dungeon two? Where's dungeon two, Grandma? Alright, let's go tell Smite. Or ask Smite, I guess, where's dungeon two? Maybe he'll know. <laughs> no, we will ask him. We will Maybe demand him knowledge of where the second phone. dungeon is. must have to defeat the Robot Master. Yeah. Complete the boss rush in the third stage of Dr. Wise Castle without taking damage. Ew. Ooh. Ew. So I'm not, this is why I'm not a big fan of retro achievements, dude. <laughs> it's like cool people do them, but just like, I don't know. Yeah, no, man. Like, some of the... I just like, cool. Hey, that's, on, that's neat, but I don't care that much about this game to do that. We're, we're in hell. We're in absolute hell in here. How are you? Uh, all right. Go, uh, go give Smite that? some love. I'm out. I'll see y'all Wednesday. I've been working on this challenge for three hours. Oh, yeah, 99, folks. Not more than that, though. Only three How long did they say he was working this? Three days? Jesus. He, he's been doing it for like a bit now, yeah. Again, sounds really miserable. Mm hmm. It's so retro. Yeah. You know, I was just on our Cape yesterday, or, uh, yeah, I guess, yeah, on Sunday. It was fun. It was pretty close, actually. It's like, I was 260 to like their 300. It was a good time. Oh, I only said three hours. Okay, that's a little bit better than three days. Just a smidge. Just a smidge. A smidge. Hours, days, what's the difference? Oh, yeah. Good luck with whatever charity wins in the end. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Night, everybody.